Hi, hi. It's Twy. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing good today. Good Wednesday. Happy, like, middle of the week. I don't know. <laughs> um, we back today with some Terraria. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate too much pepper in my food. Uh, but <laughs> we back with some Terraria. I actually did. I played a little bit off stream. Thumbnail, a little clickbait. Not gonna lie, I, I don't, I don't have a, what even is that bow called, bro? Like, the phantasm or something? I don't know, I don't have the moon lore bow, I don't have life force potion, I don't have none of that. But, I did, I did get some, some little improvements, we might still spend a little time, like, just kind of prepping things up earlier in the stream, and then, today, we're, we gotta kill at least a boss today, you know, we tried the brain, we tried Skeletron, I haven't killed either of them yet, because <laughs> they're too hard, bro, so, we'll, we'll kill something today, hopefully, um, but yeah, let's go, Boom. switch over to Terraria mode, uh, I think the music balance should be okay, but, I was eating right until I went live, pretty much, so I only just kind of eyeballed it. Hopefully it's fine. But yeah, so we got we got some upgrades. I got a volcano, so we got a we got a big ol' sword. Um, I did, I got an imp staff, just cause why not? Uh, I have a swordfish, I don't know if we're gonna try that against the brain, maybe if I fail to kill it with the volcano. Uh, and then over here... I made a few spawners. We got four tries at the brain without having to grind anything on stream. And I made a bunch of buff potions. Just the whole kind of deal here. You know, the classics, but also we got endurance, rage, heart reach, just because I had it. Uh, archery, and then some well-fed buffs. Let's go. What's up, Ethel? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I did... I managed to open one of the sky chests because uh, I, I basically just ran into the dungeon and let myself get killed, but I managed to like open a chest first and grab a key. Uh, I got the horseshoe, which is not the most useful, but if I can get a, what's it called? A balloon puffer fish. If we fish for a bit and I get that, then it would be really good because uh, I have a tsunami in a bottle too. Um, but I could do triple jump if I wanted. Uh, I also got a frog leg, which is very good. Uh, so we get extra jump height. Uh, outside of that, I just kind of finished kind of bolstering out the, the herb farm as well. So we got easier, easier potion farming. We got everything kind of done up nice over here. So hopefully we won't have any problems with that stuff. Uh, going forward, I I made a little hut here. I also made I made some lakes too I made it so that I would have an easier time fishing in the future. So I got like a crimson lake a little snow lake I made one in the jungle I think or there was already a nice lake in the jungle But I made I, I like cut out a hole for it and there's like the desert one here I was just doing a lot of like fishing and stuff off cam just kind of like the boring prep work But uh, I think we might do a little fishing here as well, where should I? I should fish underground because I need to make recall potions. So let's do that. Here's another cool thing I did. I put some clouds here so that I can't die of fall damage while I go down my elevator anymore. Because I, I kept dying to fall damage. So I was... I Actually, I don't remember if I did that on stream or off stream, but... No more no more dying while I, while I go down the bridge. Down the elevator. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, hope everybody has been having a good week yesterday. I kind of took a took a real day off for the first time in a while like For the most part even on my like day offs like I'm editing I'm work. I'm like working on music, whatever Yesterday, I just I went downtown with my mom. It was nice. It was chill It was real cool um, We were just kind of we went, we went to the mall. Oh, golden cart. Sheesh. Um, so I don't know. Can you make the... I don't know if you can make the golden delight out of that one. But if you can, that's worth it for sure. Gotta stock up the major buffs for a late game. But, um... Yeah, we went to the mall. Uh, I had Chick-fil-A. 
for the first time. It was a- I was really surprised, actually. Because, like, the sandwich was really bare bones. It was literally, like, no mayo. There was, like, two pickles. That was all that was on it. It was just chicken, two little pickles, and bread. But it was actually, like, really good. Um, like, it was very, very spicy. It was nice. They had good pickles, too. I don't know why they only put two. It'd be cool if they put more. What's up, Semi? Hope you're doing good. Oh, we got a quest fish. <laughs> okay. Let me try and, uh... Let me try and go to the angler before the day is over then, I guess. But yeah, it was good value too. Like I didn't, I've, I've never like actually gone to Chick-fil-A before. So I didn't realize it, but like they're like even cheaper than McDonald's chicken sandwich now, which I don't know if that says a lot about them or more about McDonald's. Cause I feel like McDonald's not even cheap anymore. <laughs> but like, I mean, it wasn't like cheap, cheap either. It was still like, seven and a half dollars something like that but like for a chicken sandwich that's not bad like a lot of places charge like 12 bucks 13 bucks it's so fucked bro it costs so much money just for a chicken sandwich nowadays i feel like any good burgers also cost like too much now like you can get a burger for like a few dollars still but they're like the garbage ones you know like mcdonald's default hamburger cheeseburger whatever God, I, honestly, when it comes to, like, fast food stuff like that, I would rather have a plain hamburger than a cheeseburger, because I just don't like American cheese. It's just it's something about it, I just don't fuck with it. It's just not real cheese, bro. It just doesn't taste right. To me, anyway. I don't think it's that bad, but... It's not my, not my preference, though. But yeah, it was, it was cool. My mom... <laughs> I got- I had the craziest guilt, uh, gift yesterday. My mom gave me, like, as a- as, like, an early Easter present. It sounds so weird to say that, because, like, I don't even normally really celebrate Easter anymore. But, my mom gave me a kilt <laughs> as a present. Which, uh, I've never- I've never worn a kilt. I had to look up how to put it on. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I felt about the look, to be honest. It was- it was interesting. Like, I would never pick out a kilt for myself. I don't think it looked too bad, but it has like, the like flaps on it are kind of weird. It just, uh, but it's cool though. Maybe, maybe someday I can try and style it, but uh, I guess I have a kilt now. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. My mom was really being real chill. She was spoiling me a little much. <laughs> bought me some shirts, bought me some socks from Uniqlo, my favorite. Uniqlo is so good, man. I feel like... I don't shop at Uniqlo all the time, because, like, they're kind of expensive, but, like, in terms of, like, quality, like, good style, really, like, long-lasting stuff, like, Uniqlo is king, man. Real, real good stuff. But, yeah. Um, we are gonna go to the art museum, and then it just happened to be on strike for specifically that day, so we couldn't go to the art museum. <laughs> So we'll have to go back another time. But I thought it was funny though. So far, the two times that I've like gone to like hang out with my mom since we like got back in touch have been just like really unlucky. Like the first time I've <laughs> the first time it was just pouring rain. Like it's been good weather for like all week and then it's just in like absolutely just drenched out in the rain. And the next time we want to go to the art museum and it's on strike. <laughs> But it was fine though, it was still fun. We just kind of walked around a lot. She bought me some like drawing supplies, we went to a little art store. Just like a little hole in the wall place, but it was really good value actually. There was some really nice, I got some uh, some good pencils, some pencil crayons, some, like a nice eraser. So maybe, maybe we'd do a, I don't know if I'll actually do like a drawing stream or like if I would just draw something and like post it on Twitter. But I might have to actually bust out the sketchbook for the first time in months now i i haven't drawn since uh, i guess actually month i drew the the white album cover thing as, as crappy as that was i drew it <laughs> but um i might i might have to do a little drawing again since i got that i don't even know maybe i draw another vtuber I don't know. I also feel like I would kind of want to draw something I would like be able to send to my mom. 
Let's be fair. If I drew another VTuber, I don't think that that would, I don't think she would really ask. I'd just be like, oh, it's some like anime characters, and then she'd just be like, okay. <laughs> hey, there we go. Balloon pufferfish. That's what I was fishing for. Okay. Uh oh, I missed the timeline for the quest for the quest fish. Whoops. What do you? Maybe he's got it two days in a row. Is that even possible? I don't know if that's possible. I can cope though. Hey, Angler, what's up, boss? That is not a demonic hellfish. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna keep it. I'm just gonna... I don't even think it, like... I don't think you get any money, but I'm still gonna just toss it. This one you get money. Ooh, a lot of money. Nice. Um, can I make golden delight? No. This one... Yeah, this one's not crafting... So we just gotta sell it. Take my 10 gold, 11 gold, whatever. Uh, tungsten, I don't need, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Uh, should be good, yep. We got some money. Getting that bag up, you feel me? Uh, fishing, can put my bait away. And then potions, put in here. What was I gonna do? I want to make more recall potions. How do I? Act? What is what is the crafting recipe for that? It is. Oh, good. <laughs> it's day blooms. I thought it would be day blooms, but I saw apparently on 3ds it's death weed, which is that is like so annoying to to grind because death weed is like the hardest one to farm, honestly. Why I jump so low? I don't know. There we go. All right, give me lots of day bloom. All of that. But yeah, it feels good to just have like most of the most of the prep out of the way. I was also thinking it could be a decent idea to go ahead and try and uh, get some lightning boots. That would definitely make it a little easier because I was noticing my running speed was like cutting it mildly close in a couple of scenarios last time. Okay, we can get a shark ron balloon and then a pink horseshoe balloon. And now dying to fall damage is a thing of the past, baby. Let's go. No more dying to fall damage. Oh, look at those jumps, bro. I got hops for days. Shee. Big hops, holy. Dude, I can jump so high. That's crazy. I hope my arena is not going to be like too, too like tight now that I actually have like massive jump height. Okay, potions. Let me grab a Splunker potion. And let's go to the jungle and see if I can find some chests. Because uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a little anklet of the wind. You feel me? Uh, do I even have, I think I have an aglet. Um, yeah, and then I, I got a bunch of health, more, uh, health stone as well, so we can make more health stone arrows for Skeletron. Although, I might have to grind Jester's arrows, actually. I did not make more of those. Feels kind of funny that my, uh that my railroad doesn't go all the way to the jungle. Cause back in the day when you would like always build the railroad pretty much, it was purely to get to the jungle. Like, cause back, back in like older versions, the, the witch doctor would sell you leaf wings for like one platinum, as long as you met him at night in the jungle, which was really, really good. Cause they're like almost the best wings you could get uh, pre Plantera, and you could get them night one. You could do all the prep right away, and you could just immediately have good wings, no grinding. You don't have to do wyverns, you don't have to do like souls, none of that. It was so convenient. Um, and then they patched it so that he sells them after Plantera, I think, and they're like completely useless and irrelevant at that point. But Oh my god, I just realized I don't even have to be scared about, like, falling to my death anymore, because I can just land. <laughs> I can simply just land. No sweat. That is so sick. Okay. Um. 
I do have to be a little careful about man-eaters and stuff, because I don't have a hunter potion or like hornets as well. But I do have full hellstone armor this time around, so I can tank a little better than I could before. Even if I do get like surprise jumped. I'm just gonna end up tunneling into like the same spot if I go here, but we need to get down. I need I need to get down in the mines. That's boulders. Hello. How about we don't do that? Oh yeah, dead man chest. Okay, that makes sense. Ow. Oh! Bro, why is stuff exploding? Relax with all of that. Oh wait, what am I what am I doing? There's an ivy chest right here. It would be really, really cool if the game just like gave me this right away and I didn't have to go mining for ages. I actually only brought one Splunker with me, so we got like four minutes to find this, and if I don't, then I'd have to go all the way back. Uh, I should have brought an X- Oh! You bitch. Uh, he's gonna come back up in a sec. I feel it in my bones. Get back down there. Oh, it's another staff of regrowth. Man. Okay. I'll still grab the stuff. And then I'm out. Let's go this way. Alright. Maybe, maybe next. Ooh, oh, I might die. Close though. Uh, jungle is scary, man. It's a lot of enemies down here. But yeah, it was it was a nice little day trip out yesterday into the city. I don't I don't go downtown that much, so it was nice for me even. Went to a little uh. At the end of the trip, I went to a little, uh, like, kind of like fruit market outside. It was part of like an Asian grocery, but I got a, I got a big like honeydew melon for like three dollars, which is really good. You, normally, it'd be I would expect like five or six dollars. I think now it is. Um, I got that. It was delicious. I actually still have half of it like in the fridge, but it was very nice. Cause I haven't had honeydew in a while. I feel like a lot of people are kind of mixed opinions about honeydew melon but me personally i love it one of my favorites okay we got another ivy chest here wait have i already looted this i may have already looted this i hope not i hope i hope i looted it like something else but i'm seeing on the map it's lo it's looking like i probably did yeah come on man all right. Surely we'll find something there. I hear piranhas down there, but too bad. Yolo. Ah. Oh, there's like a regular chest down there. I probably also grabbed that already, but that's okay. Yeah, we got some uh, some strawberries as well. I like strawberries. I kind of wanted blueberries, but they weren't like a good price. It is what it is. I don't know if you guys are like kind of picky when you go grocery shopping. I like to always try and like get a good deal on like fruits and stuff. Pick out the good ones. Get out of here, all right. Ah, I missed the bet. That's fine though. I actually have HP this time. I see a man eater in the wall again. I hope not. There's one there. I got bombs. I got 120 bombs. All right, blowing his ass up. Well, my splunker ends in like two seconds, but my life also ends in like two seconds. So, oh, I'm alive. I thought I was about to die there, not gonna lie. I'm kind of surprised I didn't die. 
I don't have any Splunker left. Why did I not bring extra? I'm so stupid, bro. the dungeon if I go in there I'm gonna eat shit and die oh that's the temple wait why is the temple blue huh I guess that's a further worthy thing I don't know why but the temple is blue that's cool um I guess we'll find out later or maybe it's just completely aesthetic and random who knows please let that green be from a jungle chest and not just to be green because there's jungle spores it's probably jungle spores though yeah this is like a hundred percent gonna be jungle spores yeah but there's actually more cave over this way at least so maybe we can find stuff I really should have brought more splunker potions with me oh well I'm sure we will get... Oh, I... where's the worm at? Hello, yeah. Ooh, one shot, that's satisfying. I hate, I hate worms, so like... I mean, I love, I love worms, but not in this game, though. Ooh, chess, come here. Anklet, yippee! There we go. All right, successful little outing there. Feels good, man. Okay, we got an anklet, so now we can grab. I don't even have an aglet, bro. I was so convinced I had an aglet. Fuck. Okay. It's not that hard to actually get one, though, because we have Splunker Potions, so, like, we can just, uh... We just need to look for surface chests. See if there's any... Down the elevator. Oh, where surface chests at? This railroad is pretty early up. Good chance here. Come on, show me, show me a little regular chest, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, man? What a ripoff. Okay, other side. Maybe. Where them chests at? Need to see big chest. Bro, I just want to look at a big chest, man. Why can't I find that? Is that too much to ask? Even a small chest, any chest is good chest. I'm not, I'm not seeing nothing though. This is quite unfortunate. Yeah. No, no chest in sight, dang. You know what's kind of funny chat? I was looking at my analytics earlier. If you follow me on Twitter, you may or may not have seen, but, um, I was looking at my analytics and I had, I saw that my, uh, my gender split, I had like 17%, uh, female viewership. And I was like, oh damn, that's like not that bad to be honest. Cause I mean, like, I feel like that's actually like a pretty high number nowadays. You know, I feel like a lot of the channels, maybe 10%, 5%, even like one or 2%, you know, like it's, uh. It's hard to get female viewership out here. You think, oh, fucking Blood Moon, bro? You bitch. I don't want that. I guess I could farm for a Shark Tooth Neck, though. Could be good. A little Shark Tooth Necky. I don't need it per se, but extra damage would definitely not hurt. I got Feral Claws already, though. But, uh... I mean, it could be not bad. 
but yeah, what was I saying? I completely forgot where what I was saying. Yeah, I, I went, I saw I had 17% female viewership. I was like, oh, that's like pretty good. And then I noticed that's, that was under the all tab. So I was like, oh, okay, let me check what my streams is like. Literally 100% male viewership. There is not a single sign of a woman in my fucking streams, bro. Not even one. <laughs> I was like not prepared. Yo, what did I just- What the- What? What? Wait, where did my items go? Where did my accessories go? What happened? Wait, 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 wait. Where did all my accessories just go? What just happened? What? Oh my god, I clicked the fucking loadout button? I didn't even know that was a feature in this game, bro. You can have more than one loadout? <laughs> Bruh. Okay, well that's still a lot better than what I thought happened. I thought I somehow dropped or deleted all of my fucking accessories, in which case I would have actually been so mad. <laughs> But okay, I can, I can live, I can live with that. Just a little silly, goofy death, that's fine. But yeah, I thought, I thought it was really funny. Literal, literally, all men. I'm just for the boys, what can I say? <laughs> for my fellas. All my fellas. All my fellas. Yeah, maybe we can, uh, probably after this night, I think by the next night, we should be good to fight the, uh, I don't know if we do the Brain or Skeletron first, to be honest. I revamped the Skeletron Arena a little bit, it's a little bigger than last time, but, um, I also have, like, better weapons for the Brain. I remember last attempt that we did on the brain, I got so scammed because everybody, somebody in chat was like, oh, you should do the map strat. And I was like, oh my God, you're right. I should just do the map strat. And then I can see which one is the real one. And then I realized that in For the Worthy mode, they took his icon off of the map so that you can't actually cheese it. And the thing, I don't even think it's all bosses like that. I think they specifically did it for the brain while also making him flip you upside down and making all of the clones look identical. Like, it's just fucking devious. Devious shit. <laughs> but, um... We'll get- we'll get the dub though, it's fine. I think the volcano is like such- it has such a giant swinging radius that it'll probably be pretty good. Um, but I also got the swordfish, which is like what I would normally use. For it. I mean, obviously, I think it's a little less effective when I can't tell which one I need to actually swing at, but <laughs> it's, still, it's still like a better spear than the rotted fork, so hopefully it'll, it'll work well. And I got all the buff potions ready to go. Made hella buff potions, so hopefully as soon as we go actually do because now i got i got the frog leg we got the we got the pink horseshoe balloon we got uh i need to reforge my feral claws i'll have to do that uh maybe we'll get a shark tooth necklace if i'm lucky that would be probably good what would i unequip for that though is the question probably the band of regen band of regen's not that good it's not bad though but I mean, frog leg is better. Either way, though, we got we got a lot better equipment for this time around, so hopefully we can actually beat some of these bosses. But I guess I guess before the worthy mode, it really takes like a lot a lot more like preparation, I think, than uh, than playing even just on regular master mode, because like master mode's not that hard in this game. I feel like you can beat the game for the first time on master mode without too much more difficulty. Like, definitely the second time. Like, you can skip from normal to master pretty easily, I would say, but... The, uh, for the worthy mode, they ain't playing. Some of the bosses are, like, way harder, man. 
to be honest. Like, when I did the Skeletron fight, I saw, I saw um, when he, like, goes in, like, spinny mode. You can't shoot him. Like, you can't... I don't think you can damage him at all in that. Which is, like... Oh, I was like... Oh, that's a cool, like, little rework. That makes it a little harder. And then, I also found out that in Phase 2, he just spawns, like, three of the Water Bolt guys. Which is, like, actually way harder. It messes up your dodging. It, like... It makes it so that you gotta dodge more projectiles, like, even aside from, like, your shield of Cthulhu. It just seems overall a lot harder, but I don't know. I've only even gotten there once, so we'll see. Can I get a shark tooth necklace, bro? Or, like, at least a money trough? Like, money trough would also be cool, you know? I, I would be I would be happy with that. Oh, it's my money. Let me my money. You holding my shit? Give me my gold. Yeah. But yeah, I went. It was, it was a fun little uh, day trip yesterday for my day off. I didn't. Re I was surprised. It's the first time in a while I've gone to the mall and not really bought anything. But I'm already doing some like online shopping, so I was like, kind of like, I might as well just buy the rest online. Because the thing is, I feel like my wardrobe is pretty rounded out now. Like, I've got most of the things I want. Um, but a lot of what I w need, like, still is better skirts. And, like, buying skirts in Canada is, like, impossible, bro. Like, there is no, no good selection. There's barely any selection to begin with. And a lot of it's really, like, kind of ugly and cheap. But I think it's just out of style in some ways here. It's still a little early season, but even then, it's like kind of getting better now. It's just, uh, I don't know. I think I think we're in the era of women liking pants, which is, I mean, good taste. I also like pants. Or like dresses are still like really popular, obviously. But I feel I feel like dresses are not as easy to pull off as a guy. You know what I mean? Like, because a skirt, especially if you're going to wear, like, leggings or if you shave your legs or whatever, you can literally just interchangeably use them instead of pants. Like, it's the it's the exact same purpose in an outfit, you feel me? But, like, a dress, a lot of the time, like, the, the shaping of a dress, you know, as you're trying to, like, show off your, like, top half a little more, a little more revealing, a little more like curvy kinda on your waist and stuff. I feel like it's just like sewn in a way that doesn't really match like most male builds. So it, it just looks kind of unnatural and like not that flattering to me. So I don't really I don't really mess around with dresses. But I do love skirts. I'm in my skirt phase. So finally Went through with the order on that. Hopefully, everything makes it to me and nothing goes wrong. Because I'm excited, honestly. I feel like I have a lot of, like, outfits in mind that I'm going to be able to do that I didn't have before. It's going to be epic. Ah! Can't believe it just hit me in the water or into the lava. I was messed up. Okay. We got... We did not get... A shark tooth necklace, but at least we did get uh, what do we get? Some fallen stars, so we can make more jester's arrows, which I need to do. All right, I still need to actually get a an aglet. An aglet. Let's grab. I'm just gonna take all the remaining splunkers, to be honest. I don't wanna. I don't wanna have to keep reminding myself. To, or I have to keep coming back and we'll take a little take this cooked fish I haven't had fish in a while I had just good old classic chicken rice veg today the good old the good old classic I had a lot of food before stream I wasn't sure that I was gonna actually eat everything but I did Oh, it's a sandstorm. To be fair, I think I'm like kind of gunned out to where I can go through a sandstorm at this point, so it's fine, but it's mildly annoying. 
Well, I mean, if it doesn't spawn any tumbleweeds, it's not at all annoying, actually. It's just, this area looks like it will have chests. Come on. Let your boy see a little chest, you feel me? Allow me. Allow me some chest fun. I see one. Target acquired. Oh my god, bro. Where is air? Let me breathe. Skull hammer, what's up? Oh, I saw you on the on a YouTube short earlier. How's it going? Staunch blowpipe. I don't need a blowpipe, bro. Blow these and blow my pipe. Ha. I came up with the funnier one too late. I ruined the comedic timing of the punchline. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, I forgot when you're carrying a blowpipe, it makes you keep picking up seeds every time you hit the grass. Not actually that annoying, but... Surely one of these will be aglet, right? Come on. Plant fiber cordage, that is completely useless. Radar is also pretty much completely useless. Okay, third, third one, come on. Wand of sparking. Man. Okay. Uh, I need to- I need to throw some stuff somewhere else in my inventory. My inventory getting too full. This isn't a bad way to farm the, uh, the red potions, to be honest. Well, I don't know if it's common to get red potions out of this, but... Good? Nice. I'm just doing a little... a little prep before we start trying to do some bosses. Wait, I see a chest. I see a chest. Come here. One of these gotta be my aglet, surely. I need lightning boots so I can run real quick. I'm gonna be real speedy with it. Surely. After like, it's probably like about 10 of them in this playthrough. Spear. Just what I was looking for, yep. I love love spear. Alright. Ow. Yeah, we're playing on the for the worthy seed, so everything does like a billion damage and all the bosses are harder. There's bo oh, there's bosses in this game. Normally they're not too bad, but I'm actually playing on a difficulty increasing seed right now. Uh, and the bosses are the hardest shit, bro. <laughs> I I named my last two streams after beating uh, basically the third and fourth bosses. Technically, there's not like a sequence to either of them, but I would be my third and fourth bosses. Uh, I beat neither of them so far. <laughs> I've failed both at least five times, I think. Probably like 15 between the two of them. I failed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, man. I, p I know I posted this short today about how Elden Ring is like what's been beating me up, but honestly, Terraria might be worse so far. I underestimated how much harder this seed was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's like a whole sequence of bosses. That's actually kind of why I like Terraria a bit more than Minecraft. Like, I think a lot of people like compare the two, but Terraria is like. It has like a very clear progression of like bosses and like scaling. Whereas Minecraft is like, I mean, there's the dragon, but like who judges when they're done with their playthrough or not by if they killed the ender dragon? Like, I can't, I can't think of anybody who plays the game like that except for speedrunners. Oh, <laughs> uh, we have any more chests, please? Allow me a chest farm. Uh, what do we got? Probably not this far down. I really don't want to accidentally spawn the queen bee. That would be very not good. I think I'm probably too far down. I should go back up. Back up to the surface. Cause we need surface chests, really. Uh, if we don't get this by the end of the of this side of the world i might i might just say fuck it we ball no lightning boots 
sometimes Minecraft can be long. It can absolutely be long and boring. I feel like I've had phases where I'll like play for play it for a while with like a group of friends. You know, like you make a server together and you all just kind of like have a few days where everybody's like logging on all the time and building stuff and like fucking with each other and it's great. But like. Even with the homies, it usually only lasts a few days. And like solo, I I like never really play Minecraft solo. I just feel like there's there's like too much to do and nothing to do at the exact same time. It's just very easy to get bored, I feel like. <laughs> For me anyway. But at the, at the end of the day, I think there's a lot of really cool shit that you can do in Minecraft that I just have no idea how to do. Like, I know some people love to just, like, automate stuff and... What just happened to my phone, bro? My phone just die? Why did my phone just power off? Overheat or something? Uh, I guess I'm gonna be frozen on stream for a few, for a few minutes. My phone just overheated. <laughs> You get this, uh, brilliant freeze frame of me. Wow. So flattering. At least I'm actually looking at the camera. And my eyes aren't, like, closed or something stupid. Step stool. Oh no, step stool. Oh, did it update? Did- Did my fucking iPhone just auto-update on me? You asshole. I was in the middle of streaming. How dare you? <laughs> Alright, give it a sec. Should be back in a moment. You've been making me waste my potion time. My looking. Oh, loading. Loading in. Hold up. Okay. I think we are back. Probably, maybe. Yeah. Oh, did it mess up my tracking, though? Come on, bro. I don't know why- I can't actually explain why this happens, but every single time that I, um... Every time that I open VTube Studio and, like, I sync my phone back, my- Like, the parameters for my model just change, even though- even though my phone is in the exact same spot. Like, I'll be looking at one spot, and it might mark it as, like, an 80 on the, on the scale or whatever. And then I'll do my phone in the exact same spot, and it's, like, 10. <laughs> I, I have no idea why it changes. I, ca I can't explain it. But, uh, there we go. Fixed. <laughs> uh, oh, it spawned me on this side. Okay. See... If there's any chests under the under the ground over here, please. There are like some living wood trees over in this area, so maybe. Maybe we can find something or like this just looks like the type of area to have have some chests. Come on, you know you wanna give your boy a little chest, a little aglet. Agile lit. I still don't know why it's called an aglet, to be honest. I only know the word exists because of Terraria and the one Phineas and Ferb song. But that was Phineas and Ferb, right? Yeah, I remember. There's like fucking... Oh my god, dude. I just unlocked a memory by accident. Random ADHD rambling. Just unlocked that song. Dude, there were so many bangers from Phineas and Ferb that I forgot about. Holy shit. There's actually a lot... That show had really good music for like a, for like a cartoon. Not gonna lie. There's like the one random episode with the dad singing like, what was it, like Alien Heart or something? Oh my god, bro. Not the random Phineas and Ferb throwback on stream, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so unlucky with these chests. I just want to find my one little aglet. My one little aglet, but I can't. I can't find it. I'm just getting every other drop. Because if I get it, I'll get like an extra 15% running speed, which is like a lot, but it's not like necessary. It would just make these boss fights 
a decent bit easier because I'm actually having a bit of a hard time like outrunning some of the bosses. But yeah, back in the day, Phineas and Ferb. What else is there? Johnny Test, I remember watching. Oh my god. <laughs> it's funny occasionally seeing the memes of like people just posting like a, a clip with like a billion whip sound effects. You just go, really <laughs> like a Johnny Test meme. Because I never noticed it as a kid, but there are like just a comically like large amount of of whip sound effects in that show for no reason. <laughs> I don't feel like I watched a lot of- I guess I did watch a decent amount of cartoons growing up. Cause I w I'm definitely- nowadays I'm much more of like an anime type of guy, you know, I don't- I don't watch a lot of like western stuff nowadays. But growing up, Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents, Johnny Test, and Phineas and Ferb. I think it was just those four. Maybe there's a couple more I'm forgetting, but those were all like pretty goaded. Classics. I had another desert here? I actually forgot about that. Cause I was also trying to find a Bast statue while I was off stream, but I did not actually succeed. I'm just, you know, this this seed likes to likes to tease me. We'll keep everything. An arm's distance away. <laughs> can't be- can't have shit in this world, but that's okay. Just like real life, can't have shit in Toronto. Alright. One last little check, maybe on this side of the world we can get our aglet, maybe? Any chests? Oh, there's one down there. Maybe, maybe, pause. It'd be really nice if I had a mining potion. It takes so long to like dig over to all of these chests. So I should toss some of this stuff I don't need. Uh, I really, I definitely know crimstone or that. I don't need this blowpipe either. It's not gonna sell for much. Oh, I can put the step stool over here too. Favorite show I watched as a kid was Transformers. Mm, I don't feel like I watched it a lot, but Transformers was good, yeah. Transformers are really cool, or like, what else was there, man? There was, I remember, I had some like toys of like Transformers or like, I remember Bakugan, I forgot those even existed until like, probably just now to be honest. I, I, I don't know when's the last time I remember that those exist, but I used to have the toys for those. It's like Legos, I, I feel like all this shit that was just kind of like, or like Bionicle. I don't know if I had Bionicles as a kid, but Bionicles were cool too. I feel like just all the like robot adjacent shit is pretty cool. That kind of stuff now would probably be like so unimpressive to like most modern kids just because like you just from the age of like one, you just have like insane games and shows and everything like on your iPad that you're just growing up with. But like, you know, back back then it was sick. Bakugan is so forgettable. <laughs> Bakugan is extremely forgettable, but they were cool. That and like... Beyblade was not as forgettable. I remember Beyblade. It was fun, like, I had a few of them, so I would like mix and match them. To like make, like... I liked that you could like pair the different, like... You could take the parts from two different ones and make it into like a new one, kinda. I was never out here like optimizing or anything, but I, I did have it. Oh, another anklet. Uh, I don't need this. I can drink that. I don't need either of these. Uh, I think we're probably too deep to be finding surface chests here yet. Okay, I will give up on the aglet for now. Maybe I will try again at a later time. Uh, let's put the extra anklet. Let's put both anklets away. They're both precise, that's kind of funny. Oh, uh, we can put away... The Splunker Potion. Only one left, I used a lot of them. Open up the worms. I wanna fill these water bottles. Fuck, I misclicked. <laughs> I'm really glad I, that we took the time earlier to make- Oh, I got so many recall potions from getting all those chests too. Okay, that's nice. Cause I still haven't found a magic mirror in this playthrough either, so like getting back home is like a finite 
thing. Or at least it, it kind of was. I only had like 20 earlier this turn. Sell these. Don't need the umbrella. Should be good. Uh, hive go. I can put that here. Ores. I don't have any iron bars in here. Bro, did some off-camera mining? I, I definitely did do some off-camera. It was more like off-camera fishing, to be honest. I didn't do much mining. But, you know, it's a funnier title to, to word it like this, though. Uh, okay, where, how many Fallen Stars do we have? 116. Oh, I can make, like, a ton of Jesters. Okay. Let's just make, like, uh, let's just make, like, 400. That'll be plenty. I already have like 72, yeah. 477. Will be good on that front. You can have the rest of these. I don't need them. Oh, we have spiky balls too. Because I uh, I got a goblin army while I was off camera. Beyblade shaped hole in my heart for them is funny. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I still have them. They might be in my closet to be honest. But yeah, I, got a, I farmed up a whole lot of buffs. So, and I farmed some spawners too, some boss spawners. So this time we can try and uh, try and get that dub. I got I got four tries at the brain that are already set up, and then Skeletron. Obviously, we can just do as many times as we want. Tons of off camera mining. I played for like a couple hours off camera. I also we got. A frog leg, we got the pink horseshoe balloon, so I got I got bit better jump. Better jumps, I got hops. Uh probably put the feral claws on here. Oh, that's like a lot faster swing. Damn. Okay. Uh I don't think I really expanded this arena per se, but Oh my god, that just killed that. I think it was a crit, but still, that's funny. Alright, let's clear out the arena a little bit. We got these up. Oh, let me throw my spike balls down. Probably not necessary at this point, but it will make things easier. Just kind of rack up some extra free damage. And then some on the top platform as well. Wait, no, they're falling into that little hole. Don't do that. It to stay. All right, this we got like a little empty spot over here, kinda. Let's fill that in. Okay, still got lots left, even if I fail this attempt. Stop! You're wasting my my dudes, bro. Don't. Okay. Let's buff up. Let's go. Oh, wait, crimson rod and imp staff. Let's get it, boys. Pew! Ow. Hey. Oh, he's getting farmed right now. But I mean the second phase is where we've been having the the trouble. Ooh. It's darker, hey. Oh yeah, the volcano is so wide. Like it's it's just hitting him like no matter what side he's on. That's crazy. Ooh! What the fuck? Yo! How is that fair? Hey! Woo! Please! Please! No! No! Oh, we were close too. Come on, man. He was so- No! He was on 400 HP! He was like two shot! Come on, man! No! Bro! Ah... Uh, 70th? Wait, we- Oh, I missed 69? Thank you. Hello, Milor. Welcome. Close, dude. Close, close. Yeah, I get lost farming materials too. I do that. I do that all the time when I play games like this. I just like get in a. Especially if I'm just on my own, I'll like throw YouTube up on the side and I'll just end up like fishing or mining or something for like hours. Okay, well, we've still got four more tries, and that was very, very close for a first attempt. 
being said, I probably only have two tries worth of spike balls, but I don't think they matter that much, to be honest. So we can do this. We can we can 100% win this. Although that like ending thing where he like just zeroes in on you really hard is fucked up. Like where they all go black and he just like super like swings on you. The volcano is definitely the call though. Like this thing has such a fat like swing radius. It literally hits him like, I don't even, I'm not even aiming. I'm just swinging and it's just hitting him wherever he ends up spawning from. Super convenient. Man, it's funny just how much more you have to prep for these fights. Like I have like late pre-hard mode gear for like the basically second major boss. I wouldn't really count King Slime. I don't want- No! You're- Bro! Okay. Stop spawning worms, bro. They're gonna waste my shit. I'm out here using my spike balls and these enemies are like spawning and like consuming them and shit. How dare you? Stop. Oh, yeah. Alright. Good enough. Good enough. Attempt two for too easy, obviously. Let's get this bread. Slidey coming from over there. Okay. Oh, that is some bullshit, bro. He actually teleported straight on me. How dare you? Oh my god, bro. He's ruthless. Ooh! I can't heal. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Nah, man. Oh my god. It's like so- how do you even dodge in this fight? Like, he just like goes all the way onto you. This fight is hard and for the worthy, bro. Maybe we need more knockback. Maybe I should try use the swordfish for this phase. Honestly, it might be the play. Because, like, normally I would probably go that route. Oh, I'm so nervous because we only have, like, two more spawners. Oh, I really, I really hope we win. Maybe seafood dinner. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the difference we need. Different food. Mushroom soup? Not it. It's just not tasty enough. I see food. I eat it. That's the saying we need. That's the energy we need right now. Attempt three. Too easy for me. Third time the charm, you know. Everybody says it. Because they know what's up. We're going to try the swordfish out this time. I don't know if it's going to work out. Not that I have to grab my pickaxe like that now. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got it in slot three. It's gonna like trip me out. Let me put it in slot one. Okay. Because this thing, it's a little shorter range, but it does give me. I guess it's probably best to use both, right? I try to hit it with the volcano, and then I can use the fire particles to see which one is the real one, and then I can use it with the swordfish to, like, knock back it. That's probably the strat. That's probably the play. If I'm being honest. Okay, let's go ahead and spike ball up the arena a little bit. Don't need too many, really. Just, just a little. A little extra something, something. Alright. Third time's the charm. Let's get it. I took a lot of damage in the first half, too. Like, I had to burn my potion early. Which was kind of unlucky. Nah, oh, man. Bitch. Okay, at least I didn't, like, get debuffed or anything. But, ooh, I'm still getting hit a lot in the first half, though. Is there, like, hearts I can pick up on the... On the arena, maybe. Ah! A 
little. Okay. Ouch. Bro, die, please. Oh my God. No, no, please just die. He's so low, right? No. Oh, he's not even that low, dude. I can't even see the health bar because my phone's in the way. <laughs> dude, okay, the swordfish is just too weak. The swordfish doesn't do enough damage in For the Worthy. Dude, why is everything so bulky on this seed? Literally, it takes so long to go. Uh, oh my god. Alright, we got one more try. How about the first attempt was by far the closest one so far? Should I use one of these? Oh, fuck it, I'll use a major buff, I don't care. I see exquisite food. I eat it today. Cause I've had enough of losing. I've taken enough L's, man. I need a- I need a dub. I can't keep losing like this. I'm getting- you know, streams catch me lacking. <laughs> I haven't played Terraria in like seven years. What is going on in this game? I don't. There, I'm playing a. I'm playing a seed that. Uh, that it's like a difficulty increasing seed. It's called For the Worthy. Uh, and like all the bosses are reworked. Everything is strong as fuck. And uh, I'm suffering. Welcome. <laughs> I'm out here having a certifiably bad time. Yeah, I saw. I saw a few spike balls. Right. I have any? I have 21. 21. Die. I might as well use them all up, because... Oh, I did use them all up. Nope, stop! Stop hitting my spike balls. Stop spawning things. Okay. All stop man stop spawning. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just do this major buff this time I'm even more buffed out. Let's do it. Oh My god, bro jump scare Fuck why is it always spawn in like the most annoying spots like I'm pretty sure it's random But it always spawns like the most annoying places. Oh Ooh, I'm Getting juggled, please. No you get a lot- Oh! I don't want to get, like, juggled by it. Okay. Oh, the blindness is annoying. Oh, I forgot to spawn my imp earlier. Oh, that was so not worth it. I'm so fucking stupid. There's just no way. There's just no way I'm saving that. Ah! I did so much prep and I still can't fucking win this fight. Oh my god, bro. Alright. Brain of Cthulhu's a wash. I guess we're gonna try Skeletron instead. Dude. Why- I should have just tried to fight it without the imp. Why the hell did I actually be like, Oh, you know what? I need to go spawn my imp mid-fight. Just let myself get hit like three times. <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Alright. Uh, what do we got? We got potions. I wanted to make more hellfire arrows. Just in case. Shouldn't need much more. But you never know, you never know. Uh, anvil? Oh, it makes 100 per hellstone bar? God damn. I underestimated how many that makes. Alright, hold up. Make like 500 arrows, and then... Oh, that's like exactly 500 more. That's satisfying. Okay. There we go. So we need to eat. We need to sleep. 
And then when it's nighttime, we go over and we absolutely decimate Skeletron, obviously. Actually, you know what? How much stronger is Hellfire Arrow than Jester Arrow? 11, 15. Because what I'm thinking about is Jester's arrows are going to be, would be really, really useful to, uh, to deal with phase two. Like when it gets to the spawning the, the water bolt caster guys, it'll actually be really helpful if I have that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's make some more Jester's and use those. I think that's going to be the play here. Spam this pie to help Dwight. Thank you. I love those coffee pastas. <laughs> I used to always make them in one of my friend's chats. All right, Skeletron, more like Skelegon, after I beat his ass. <laughs> Hilarious, cause it's true, am I right boys, or am I right? Explosive bunny. Hold on, just for science. Oh, that does in fact explode. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I had to know. I guess the real question is, would you take damage if you blew it up right beside you, right? Like if you walked into it and hit it. I'll have to try that at some point. Because now I'm curious. Now I'm actually curious just straight up if that works or not. Send him to the Shadow Realm, you know it. Homie's about to get banished. Uh, is there any reason for me to use Feral Claws? No, but there's kind of also no reason. I mean, the Royal Gel has an extra 1% damage. Oh yeah, I remember I, uh, I blocked this out. So now I can get up to the arena more safely. I can probably do it without getting hit. Because last time I kept getting hit every time I tried to get up to my arena because there was a roof on the dungeon over here. So I just mined it all out. I'm a genius. Structural mastermind. They call me Mr. PhD in architecture, Twy Dio, obviously. I don't know why I came so early. We just gotta sit here for like a minute. What's up, old man? old man? You look, you look pretty unkept. He got, he looked kind of like a homeless guy. I mean, it kind of makes sense. He just chills up here at the top of the dungeon every day. We gotta, we gotta get him back on track. We gotta beat the Skeletron so we can have the cloth ear. And then we can get the familiar clothes and I can stop wearing this little like, Winter jacket. All right. Any last words, old man? I'm gonna free you of your curse. I I I will I will kill you and then I will enter. Come back at night if you wish to enter. Let's go. Fuck! I did get hit. Oh well. I got hit twice. I'm the goat. Three times! Record pace to fuck it up. But I mean, as long as long as I don't like throw for a bit, it's actually completely fine. Wait. Okay, those two bounce off. Ow. Oh wait, having my summon is kind of bad because he's gonna bounce off my summon's attacks and I can't like make him stop shooting, obviously. But the extra fire damage is probably worth. Get out of there. Phase one is going pretty well. The Jesters makes it really easy to like take the hands down at a very similar speed, which I like. Because normally I am not the best at managing like getting equal damage on each hand. So makes my life a little easier in that regard. That being said, I still have Stormtrooper in. I can't fucking hit anything because I'm the goat. I'm the woat. The worst of all time. Oh! 
What did I just dash into, bro? A fucking explosive bunny? I guess that answers the question. <laughs> Must have been. Dude, I thought I was about to get stun locked and die. Because I dashed into something and it ruined my dash. Because you like bounce off of it when you dash into stuff, so it like kills your horizontal speed. Yeah, when he's doing the spinning thing, if I get if I get stuck in that, I'm probably fucked. There we go. Phase two. Ooh. Yeah, there's these fucking guys on the arena now, which is not cool. Oh, I can hit him in phase two though. That's helpful. Ooh! Dude, there's so many projectiles on the fucking screen right now. What is happening? Heal soon? 30 seconds. That's not good. It's a long time to wait. Oh. Oh! Ooh! No! Ah! No, man! I didn't want to go left, but I had to. Fuck! How close? Dude, I was not even close to killing him. He got mad HP. Dude, he's bulky as shit. Okay, maybe Jester's arrow isn't the play, because it's like so slow to kill him. I feel like there's too many... Those Water Bolt guys spawn too fast to justify like trying to clear them off of the arena. I think it's better to just hard prio damage and try and like burn through them before I get cooked. Is probably the strat. Can I make better health potions? I don't think you can get better health potions in pre-hard mode, right? Health potion, Terraria. Healing potion. How do I make- Yeah, because it's just greater healing is- Yeah, that's, that's hard mode stuff. Okay. Not bad. It went better than last time I uh, that, I, that I tried that. Phase 1 was a lot easier. Oh, for science. <laughs> it just fucking one-shots you 900 damage. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't expect it to actually kill me. I thought it would take damage, but I wasn't expecting 900 damage. <laughs> I, I had to know. I had to know. <laughs> Worth. Worth it. I, I just... Damn. Wait, how did I not die to the bunny earlier then? Because, like, what else could have exploded while I was in the middle of the fight? I don't know. Okay. Let us... Let us eeping. Oh, also, royal gel is, like, a useless accessory. Can I use something better? What do I have? We could get... Ooh, actually, triple jump would be kind of useful for this. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a lot of upward momentum. That's pretty useful, because, like... Because what you're supposed to do when you're fighting Skeletron in Phase 2 is to just go in circles. But it's really scary to do that when there's, like, the Water Bolt guys around as well. And, like, it's just hard to actually, like, get high enough. But, I mean, I have a balloon, a frog leg, and two jumps. It's not getting much better than that, so... I wish there was a faster way to speed up until nighttime than this, but there's not, so we just we just get to hang out for a bit, little water break. Make sure you guys are hydrated, chat. Make sure you're drinking water. You gotta go, man. No problem, Skullhammer. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good rest of your night. I'll beat him. Don't you worry. Skeletron going down next attempt, I believe. But, um... It's kind of fun, actually having a hard time beating these bosses for the first time in so long. Because, like, normally pre-hard mode is easy. Like, I've made it to hard mode playing hardcore on master mode before. Like, twice. But... This... I've fought Skeletron and Brain of Cthulhu, like, probably ten times each, and I'm still over ten on both. <laughs> Like, they're fucking hard, man. I, it's just the HP is so high. I feel like you need so much damage for this point in the game. It's, like, pretty hard to get. 
How much money do I have? I feel like I have a lot of money for this point in the game as well. Oh, I have a platinum, damn. Okay, let's go for, let's try to get like demonic or like something on this. Murderous, no. Unreal, Unreal is really good, I'll take that. Is there a strategy guide for this? You just kind of have to wing it. I mean like, I've just been blind playthroughing for the worthy. I think it's more fun to not know how the boss reworks are until I like see it with my own eyes. Cause like, it's just, it's just a little silly, a little funny moment. Like we fought the King Slime and he was like three times as big randomly. And that was funny. Um, but I still like, I know what like the easier strats are for pretty much all the bosses. Um, it's just that like this seed just scales it up to a hundred kind of like there are some things that are different. Like a lot of the bosses have like slightly reworked attack patterns and stuff. But for the most part, they just have like way more HP and do a lot more damage. <laughs> so like I have about as good of gear as I can get for this point in the game. I just need to like not suck. <laughs> It'll get a little bit easier if I can beat one of these two. Like if I get access to the dungeon, I can get like the Knight's Edge, which would be really good. That would make every boss with the Wall of Flesh pretty much trivialize, I think. Um, it would definitely make the Brain of Cthulhu easier anyway. I would beat the Brain of Cthulhu with Knight's Edge probably first try. Um, because it's just like such a hard counter to what makes that fight hard. Um, and if I beat the Brain of Cthulhu, then I would get like a dodge, which would obviously also make the other bosses easier because you don't have to be as precise. But I think this attempt will go better because I have a triple jump this time, so I can like, uh, I can, I can do the dodging pattern for Skeletron better. Because I was kind of being really lazy about the dodging pattern for Skeletron. So I think, I think this time it'll go a little bit better. Let's do a little more Jester's Arrows. Bro, I wanted to get some more sleep. You're blocking the bed. How dare you, Daniel? Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white bed. <laughs> Bro, that's so old. Holy shit. Why did I remember that? Y'all remember Vine? Y'all remember the OG short form? Man, it's so crazy to think that back in the day, Vine was like seven second content. And it was so good. And now short form content is the meta and it's way shittier than Vine ever like was. Like even bad Vine was better than a good amount of like good YouTube and TikTok. Holy shit. <laughs> Forinic Forivrov. I'm sorry, I have no idea how to read that. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Four? That YouTube channel? With the puppet that had a pencil in its nose? Oh my god, bro. Not SML. Okay, SML was bad, though. His name is SML, right? I don't remember. That's like kids YouTube shit. Like, I don't know how I ever watched that shit back in the day. NPCs blog every- Yo, for real! They're always in the way of anything that you need. Alright. This time will be different, chat. Oh, we didn't even get hit on the intro this time. Perfect. This is the run. Oh, I forgot to spawn my imp. On this fight, I actually can't afford to spawn him. Ha! I forgot that he does that in For the Worthy. Okay. Okay, my hand damaging here is a little unbalanced. Not gonna lie. Might accidentally proc phase two a little early if I'm not careful. I'm gonna have to switch to Hellfire Arrows like as soon as I proc phase two as well. I'm gonna have to be like real fast with that. I think I can do it though. Just gotta do some quick old menuing. I used to speedrun games that had a lot of menuing. I got it. Okay, that's down. Switch over. Let's go. 
Oh, that's a lot of water bolts. Holy sh- Oh, wait, they actually fuck up my, like, my shield of Cthulhu, too. I kind of forgot that that's a consideration. Oh, that's tricky. That makes this so much harder. Dude, there's so many fucking projectiles on my screen. I can't, like, track this many things with my eyes, bro. Ooh. Oh, I lost him. Wait, okay. like pretty low come on yes finally some fucking progress let's go oh my god dude it's been so long since we've fucking beaten a boss in this playthrough let's go Woo, dude that was fucking hard Oh my god, dude, this fucking playthrough is no joke, dude. Holy shit. Let's go! Easy, yeah, of course. Easy, easy. I mean, first try, right? First try. You guys, you guys can confirm for all the people that are new here, right? First try? First try. <laughs> Alright, it is time to pillage the dungeon. While I still have my buffs. Yeah, you can see where I made my little, like, YOLO dive. I made it down here, and I opened a chest, and I got a key. That's how I have the... The horseshoe, like, earlier in the game. Because for anybody who doesn't know, on the Further Worthy seed, they actually lock the fucking sky chests. Just to, just because, you know, it's a little silly, a little devious. Ah! I didn't even mean to click that. Okay, we need... We need keys. Cause I have no golden keys. I'm looking for Cobalt Shield and Muramasa particularly are what I want. Shadow Key would be not bad. I would take that. Bro, I just realized that there's gonna be like bomb pots in the dungeon. Like on top of all the other shit that's normally annoying in the dungeon. <laughs> that's okay. There we go, that's one gold key. Now we just gotta find a chest. Oh, there's a dungeon slime here too. Give me another one. Uh, well, that's the thing that gives you an extra summon, right? Ow! Uh, yo, can you like get in killing range? Thank you. Two imps! Yippee! Alright. I need golden chest. Ow! Dude, I'm gonna fucking die. Everything is so strong. Even the spikes do like t 25 damage each tick. Hearts instantly negated by the fact that I hit a spike. It's just so easy to hit the spikes down here, man. My god. Okay, come on. Show me a chest, please. I got another golden key. We're getting a lot of golden keys at least. So like if we die, we can come back down. There's a couple at like the entrance that we've kind of just walked past. But it would be nice if I could find like any semblance of structure down here. What just hit me for like 150 damage? Probably a water bolt or something. Mining potion, those are nice. I like that. Oh, I'm like almost dead. Oops. Chest? Any ch dude, it's actually crazy how long it's been since we found a chest. 
Uh, we got the mechanic. That means we can make the goblin tinkerer very happy and stop charging me as much money for his absolute scam services. Ah, wait. Where am I? Okay. Oh, I can't even place blocks while I'm under this effect. That's annoying. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let the let the slime out of the chest. To be honest, I don't care about him. He can stay locked up forever. Sucks to suck. Oh, uh, I need to heal, but my potions just. Part oh, chest, chest. Give chest. Yes. Get out of my way. Stop spotting shit. Ah, you bitch. I can't open it. Fuck. Okay. Shadow key is good. Blue moon is pretty fucking useless, but. That I've already opened apparently. Oh, we like went in a circle? Okay. Alright, let's go left then. Maybe Maybe there will be something on the left. Wait, there's nothing on the left though. What? Oh, it must be one of those like things where there's like a fake floor. It's kind of annoying, but Alright, alright, fine. Oh, I'm gonna die of the spikes. Probably. Ow. <laughs> How much money do I have? Wait, I have 30 gold. Maybe I should just go back. Oh! Oh, I died to poison! <laughs> I didn't even realize I was poisoned. Or bleeding? I don't know. Yeah, the extra summon slot is nice. I'm not like doing a summoner playthrough or anything, but extra imp never hurt nobody. Stick that like over here. Alright. Sell off my hull. I don't need actually I do I, I do want to put this up because that was a fucking workout to beat any boss, so yeah. We need to set up like a like a trophy a trophy zone. We need like maybe out of like marble or something, but like a big like trophy holder. So that we can like flex the progress as the run progress. I feel like that'd be really cool. I do know where there is a marble cave, so I could go and do that at some point. Uh, blue moon. I just feel like I don't. I don't really mess with the maces too much. I'm. I'm gonna just sell that. It's not crafting, right? Yeah. We got a shadow key, gold keys, sell those. Uh, surely I don't need my boomstick at this point. There's no reason I would be using my boomstick at this point. I'll sell that. And then materials, put the bones away. Put the water candles in the blocks chests. Alright, let's get back in there. I'm trying to get me... A Muramasa and a Cobalt Shield. Is there anything else we should need? I can't think of anything other than like... Because I, I might end up using Hellwing Bow for uh, for Wall of Flesh, so... That could, like, Shadow Key could be useful for that, potentially. Um, Muramasa I want for Knight's Edge. And then Cobalt Shield is Cobalt Shield. I can't think of anything else I would need. Easiest and most annoying. No, literally, they're so hard to like dodge, but like they don't move or anything. There's nothing. There's nothing ambiguous about them. The hitboxes are just obnoxiously like chokeable. Ah! It's just very easy to prick yourself on them, and they like pre they prevent life regen while it's on too. So it's like even more annoying. Okay. Okay. Why is that chest just purely on spikes? Like that's just fucked up. Cobalt shield! Hey, Give me that! No more knockback. The days of knockback are over. Love that. We can make an obsidian shield when I go back. Come here. Fuck you. I will literally stand in the spikes to kill you. Is there anything down here? No. <gasps> ah, shit. That was dumb. I'm dead as fuck, yep.
<laughs> I didn't know that that prevents your grappling hook too. Damn, you really can't do anything when you get hit by the floating skull guys. Phoenix Blaster? Yeah, but I mean, I can do also do Phoenix Blaster with, um... That's like the Shadow Key, which we got now. So we're chilling on that front. Phoenix Blaster is also pretty good. I could consider that. Uh, okay, it's like Obsidian Skull, right? You do Obsidian Skull and then Cobalt Shield. Yeah. Grants immunity to fire. Oh, that's going to be so nice for the Hellbridge. Dude, because literally, for anyone who doesn't know, on For the Worthy, every single Hell House is made of, like, the fire bricks that burn you. <laughs> because, of course, they are. That's actually really convenient. That's so nice. Oh, wait, right. You need to get the handgun out of the chest for the Phoenix Blaster. I don't know why I was thinking it was made with the fucking flare gun for a sec. Um, maybe. I don't usually feel like I need it, though. Like, if I find it, I'll keep it, obviously, but... I don't know if I'm, like, gonna... I'm not gonna stress about looking for it. Because the dungeon is fucking annoying. Like, keep, keep it a whole buck. The dungeon is kind of annoying to, to be in. Maybe I should, uh... I should probably make a danger sense potion, because that shows you where the fake blocks are, so it's easier to, like, navigate everything. But for now, I'll just charge in, balls to the walls, no fucks given. Cause that's just the type of guy that I am. Fuck you. Alright, I'm not gonna let these guys have their way with me anymore. Cause last time I did that, it went very not good. Oi, stop shooting me from all the way over there. I can't hit you. You're too far away. Okay, why are there so many enemies? There's not even a water candle on screen right now. I'm getting jumped by like 12 dudes. I'm on like 10 HP. Fuck off. There's so many spawning. I don't even have a water candle on right now. Dude, what the fuck? Okay. Um. Damn. That's a lot of enemies. Are the spawn rates increased on this seed? I actually don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if there's extra spawn rate. That would be par for the course, to be honest. Where even could I go that I haven't been in the dungeon? Up here, maybe? There's, like, more stuff this way? Drax and Shadow Chest? Oh, wait, what is Drax? Oh. Isn't Drax, like, pretty late game? Am I crazy? I don't know, I never played on console or, uh, or, like, mobile or any of that. Let me grab some, like, boring chat stuff. What? How do you make a danger sense potion? I think it's, I think it's webs and something. It is cobweb shiver thorn. Oh my god, I actually get to use the shiver thorn for once. That's crazy. I was convinced that shiver thorn is just the most useless herb of all time, but... Look at that, being useful. Oh, I need to find the potion crafting thing as well. I definitely need to find the potion crafting thing too because I am a big potion maker and I really need it for this playthrough. So saving resources sounds pretty nice to me, not gonna lie. Would definitely like a witching table or whatever it's called. Drax's endgame for, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drill Chainsaw from Hall- Yeah, it's the Hollowed Bar one, yeah. Damn, what the fuck? That's so broken. <laughs> I mean, I say it's so broken. It's not like it actually gives you any, like, progression advantage. It's just funny that you could, like, get something that can mine so fast. I guess it would be really useful because you don't have to make, uh... Like, you can skip straight to mining Titanium or Adamantium. Uh, or Adamantite? Adamantium? I don't know which. Uh, you could skip straight to doing that instead of having to, like, do all the individual ones. That would be kind of nice. Kind of convenient. <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> I was killed by the dungeon guardian. I love that little tombstone over there. That's funny. Oh. Oh. Wh wait, why did I take all that? Oh, because there was a fucking dungeon slime just at the bottom. Because, of course, there was. At least he gave me dungeon key. I like dungeon key. Thank you. 
Okay, I see spikes over there where I haven't been. So we're just gonna say fuck the dungeon layout. I'm just gonna dig over there. You asshole. Three? Three of them. Nah, you're violating with that. Are you serious? Fuck off, bro. Just spawn some angry bones or some bullshit. Like, let me live, bro. Oh, marble. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. We got a fucking marble cave over here in the middle of the dungeon. I mean, actually, it's kind of nice because I was saying I wanted marble for the to make like a little statue trophy holder type thing. Can you do a backflip for the one time, please? For real, for real, no cap on God. I bro, I would love to allow you a back fam, uh, back fam, fucking backflip fam. But I, I'm wait, actually, you know what? I got you. I got you. Hold on, hold on. Ready? You are you watching this chat? Whoa! Sheesh! Twi flip, twi flip. There you go. <laughs> And that's why I'm the goat. Aqua Scepter, normally useful if I was doing a mage playthrough, but uh, I'm not, so. Don't think I'll be using that one, but I mean, it could be worth, oh, bitch. Oh wait, it didn't actually debuff me. Dude, stop, there are so many projectiles. I can't even see them half the time. My phone takes up some of my screen. <laughs> Okay, can I see a big gold chest, please? Oh, I can see a big gold death. Close enough. I'm very disappointed that you're wearing pants. My bad, bro. I'll make sure to get the skirt outfit for next time. <laughs> Yo, I was just saying that as a joke. That just reminded me of all the fucking like flashbang clips of like Fillion. Fucking doing like a flip and then just flashing the fucking chat every time. Hey, you know Fillion is like the fucking fourth biggest VTuber or something. It's crazy. I didn't even realize, but she's got like by far the most subs of any indie. Make a backflip in Terraria, the gravity po- Ooh, that could be- that's- that's a different way that I could have gone about it. Yeah, I don't think I have any grav potions on me right now, but... That is a creative way to do it. I wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> I was like so disappointed in this playthrough when I got my grav potions because I was like, oh, we can go get the Skylands. That's going to make, you know, the early game so much easier. And then they're all just locked. Like you need a gold key to open the Sky Island chests on the fucking seed. <laughs> so I just couldn't get like anything. That's why there's a death there. That wooden chest up there. I just like suicide dove into the dungeon to grab it last time. Oh, I forgot to make another danger sense potion. Oh well. It's fine. Uh, let's keep going right. Lost a lot of guys. There's gonna be more. And even though there's no water candles in sight, it just has to spawn like 20 enemies constantly. Oh, now there's a water candle. There's two. Uh oh. Am I crazy or is there less enemies with the water candles? Handgun. Alright, well, chat wanted the handgun. We got it. Oh. Dude, I'm dying so much in the dungeon. Fuck. Locked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm playing on the For the Worthy seed right now. Which is like a difficulty modifying seed. A lot of stuff is reworked. I can show you. There's one right by my house, actually. Let's go over here. I got a rope for it. Oh, wait. No, I can't show you this one because I unlocked it. But there's one on the right. On the left. I mean, it's not that far. Let's go over. Let's let's show you guys. Just give you guys a little, a little preview of uh, what you can enjoy from the very cool and epic For the Worthy seed. Uh, so here we are. Oh, also all the Skylands are just corrupt or crimson for some reason. I don't know uh, But yeah, there's just they're just they're just locked. I Don't know why kind of fucked up, but they're, they're just locked <laughs> Yeah, real gun with no ideas, right, bro. Okay. Can I just say that remind me of? Some of you guys might know about this, some of you not. 
there's this guy who's an absolute legend on YouTube. His name is Glorb. And he, he makes, like, these crazy, like, drill songs where he tunes his voice with Spongebob characters. And he just does, like, Spongebob drills. And, like, <laughs> it sounds really stupid, but he literally makes, like, fucking radio station quality music. It's really good. And there's this one song where he made a fucking crazy bar. He was like, you know my gun unregistered, like, hypercam too. And I was like, oh my god, bro, that's such a fire bar. <laughs> <laughs> Gun unregistered with like, Hypercam 2 is like such a waste to stick on a Spongebob song. But that's just how his songs always are. Like he'll just have unnecessarily fire bars on like the fucking songs. It's so beautiful. If you don't know Glorb, check him out. He's fucking goat. Okay, where are we going? Ah, keep getting spiked up, bro. Mad spikes. This bit. Oh, I should use my heal now so the timer starts. Duh. Yeah, okay, uh, we were. I died like over here last time. Yeah. Ow. Stop hitting the spikes, you bozo. Alright, I was over here. Dude, it's so hard not to hit the spikes. Eh? Oh, I'm getting killed by this fucking. Yep. Yup. Ah! Skylands are always uh, corrupted and for the worthy? Yeah. Yeah, they're all- they're all crimson on this world. Which is like... I guess my question is I wonder if, like, this corruption will actually spread downwards in hard mode. Like, if I have to, like, cleanse it, or if it'll just stay on the island, it'll be fine. Cause I feel like it might actually spread downwards, which would be really fucking annoying if it does. Um, I need more danger sense. More danger sense. Give me some webs. You guys want to do some Eye of Cthulhu just for fun? I got two spawners. <laughs> what I got for well fed? I got some light. Roasted bird. Serving size one child. Hey, I mean, a roasted bird is a pretty big serving for a kid's size, bro. You ever see what real kid's size food look like nowadays? You see the kid's size fries at McDonald's? They give you like eight fries. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a Zenith run. I have many hours in Terraria, but none with the seeds. Might do it before I try modded. Yeah, I've never beaten modded either, but I um I have like a thousand hours. I've beaten Master Solo once, uh, like with friends a couple times. So I was like, I'm gonna do like a stream run, just go in blind for fun, you know? Master mode above? I don't feel like master mode is too hard to be honest. I feel like, I feel like obviously if you're like inexperienced, you're gonna have a hard time. But like after you've been playing for a while, like it's, it's not too bad to be honest. Compared to For the Worthy is so light. Like I did not expect just how much harder it was gonna be. I forgot that. Is like every boss transition fight gonna have that? Skeletron has it. I Cthulhu has it. I mean, to be fair, what other bosses like are vulnerable while they're transformed? Oh yeah, he has that extra move in uh, For the Worthy. He'll like add a spin in between his dashes and like spawn more of the little guys. Kinda cool. A lot of the bosses in For the Worthy have like new attack patterns, which is cool. I like it. You know, I like that it's not just purely a damage ramp and that's it. Look at how many of them there are. It's like a little army. <laughs> Can you, like, enter phase three already, bro? Oh, don't kill my NPCs. That's fucked up. There we go. Come and guess so. Uh, oh, shit. Wait, I can't actually kill them fast. Oh, I'm full HP. Doesn't matter. Not hard, just yeah, you take a lot of damage. No, nah, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna call it Tawabia, bro. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Spread mechanic isn't changed for the warrior, then probably no, since they're too far away from corruptible. Yeah, that's true. It's like pretty far out of the way. Should be fine. Gotta 
take out my my pent up gamer rage after losing so many boss fights. I just have to fucking beat up the Eye of Cthulhu a bunch of times. <laughs> Although I'm so glad we actually did beat Skeletron because I was starting to feel like I don't know, man. Am I just like too skill issued for this seed <laughs> after losing so many fights? Because like I've got full molten armor. I got like the volcano, the health, the molten bow, health, hellfire arrows. I'm like, bro, I don't know what other prep I can do, you know? I got full potions, completely decked out. <laughs> like, hella m m mobility accessories. Pretty much lightning. I think lightning boost just about the only, like, mobility upgrade that's really, like, feasible for me to still get. I need to find an aglet. I'll probably spend some more time off stream trying to, like, get more potions up and try and find an aglet and shit. Just kind of like the boring stuff, you know. But I'll always try and keep like the main progression for uh, for on stream. Or like once I go like hard mode, obviously I'll like do everything on stream because I don't want to. I don't want to like get the pirates for the first time and then have like have it be off stream or something like that. But we got another trophy. I have Cthulhu. This one's kind of cool, but I never understood why it's like a horn. How dare you attack my god. Fuck you, zombie. Alright. Uh, let me grab... Potion. Shine. Night Owl. Yup. Let's go. How many tomatoes did you use? To get this sauced up, fam? Like, for real, this cray cray. <laughs> How many tomatoes I use? Uh, I actually didn't use any tomatoes today. I did eat nice little spaghetti meatballs yesterday though, so I had a lot of tomatoes in that. You guys like tomatoes in chat? What, what, I wanna, I, this is, you know they say like, chat reflects the streamer? We need to test that right now. Do you guys like tomatoes? Yay, yay or nay? What are your opinions on tomatoes? This is how I really judge whether my chat is based or not. <laughs> <laughs> now we're asking the real questions. Fuck your zodiac sign. What is your stance on tomato? <laughs> okay. Okay, there's more shit like up here, I guess. Let's go up. What you got for me up top? Oh, there's more on the right too. I see the spikes over there. Ah! Oh, I can still swing, it's fine. Gotta get up. More chest, please. Thank you. Muramasa? Nope. Valor. Got a red potion though. That's nice. It's something. Okay, go this way. Ah, a lot of damn dude. These spike layouts are unfair, bro. How much? Ah, 111 damage from those? Fuck off, man. That's so much. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, chest. Gib. Oh, I'm out of keys. Shit. Okay. Why do y'all want to like be really cool and give me a key? Please. Let's like mine out these spikes long over here, just chilling. Okay, maybe the pot? Love tomato based? Nah? Ah, come on, Jake. I thought you were I thought you were cool, bro. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's okay. They're seeing you railroad? I remember my first playthrough after Journey's End. Yeah, yeah. I, th I feel like it's really convenient. Like, even with the pylons existing, it's still nice. Oh, key. Please, 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 please. Muramasa! Hey! There we go, chat. There we go. Okay. Nice. Alright, can I... You know, let me make a, a weapons chest. 
Because I'm a hoarder. And I got all these chests here anyway. Put the handgun away. Put the valor away. Uh, we can sell one of these shadow keys. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all can we sell. Oh, I should put my marble in the blocks just to... Alright, let's get the nice edge. Let's get the nice edge rocking. Hell yeah, just not by themselves? That's fair. I feel like... Okay, to be fair, you have to get the right tomatoes for them to be good by themselves. Like, if you get cherry or, like, grape tomatoes, they're usually, like, pretty decent because they're, like, pretty sweet. If you get garden-grown tomatoes, they're fucking goaded on their own. Like, they're actually amazing. And if you just buy, like, a regular, like, beefsteak tomato or something at the store... It's shit, because they pull them way too early so that they, like, don't go overripe by the time that they transport it to the store or whatever. But the flavor is just trash. So, like, you know. Knight's Edge, yeah, we gotta we gotta make the Blade of Grass. Blood Butcher, I already have the materials for. Muramasa and Volcano we have. I just need to check how to make the Blade of Grass. How do I make this sword? We need... 12 stingers, 15 jungle spores, and 3 vines. How much of that do I have already? I have 8 stingers, 9 jungle spores, and 3... I have 8 vines, so we have enough vines already. Uh, let me get the... Probably do this. Oh, I should put away... I, I should... For starters, I should sell some of these accessories. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Oh, I think actually this is crafting and something, so I'll keep it. I think it's part of like, I don't know if it's the cell phone. I think there's something else you can make with it. Uh, and I'll put these away. Grow, grow most of my food. Don't like, uh, what does that say? Ply, plyin tomato? Oh, plain tomato. That's fair. You know what? I mean, it's each to their own, right? I have an eating disorder, so I'm literally the last person who has the right to dog on people for what their what what their tastes are. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm I'm about as picky as they come. You know, I'm a lot better nowadays because uh, I did some therapy for it. But a couple months ago, I was uh, I was very chat. Can I can I tell you something like real crazy? A couple months ago, it was it's so wild for me to look back at this because I had to like document my eating throughout all of my therapy. Literally like two months ago, an average day of food for me would be like I would wake up and I would eat a banana and that was my breakfast and then I wouldn't eat for like five to seven hours and then I would eat chicken strips and rice, just plain rice and some chicken strips, nothing else with it and then a few hours later, I would once or twice snack on like Maybe some fruit, maybe some like chips, maybe like cheese and crackers or something. And that that was it. That was like my days eating. I basically would eat one meal per day, which is like in hindsight, I'm like, how the fuck was I living like that, bro? <laughs> like, I have no idea how I ate so little and so like systematically and boring for so long. I'm still like, I think more habitual in my eating than most people. I'll eat like similar food a lot. I, I'll eat like not super flavorful stuff, but I wouldn't like mix anything. Everything was like a separate thing on the plate, you know? It sounds like me when I started vaping is crazy. Can vaping really have like effects on you like that? Or are you just like waffling around? Stool is using the making of building. Yeah, yeah, it's a building accessory. I thought it was something like that. But yeah, I don't know how the fuck I used to live like that. Honestly, no fucking idea, but it's it's cool that I'm like past it, you know? Now I can like enjoy mixing stuff. I'm like eating vegetable. That's the other good thing. Is I can actually eat vegetables now, because I used to like never eat vegetables. I ate like such a child, bro. <laughs> You know what's like the goat for nutrition? I feel like spinach is like so easy to just throw into any cooked meal and it like barely deducts from the experience while giving you like a bunch of nutrients. Or like if you make a salad like using that instead of like lettuce, I feel like maybe minor downgrade in like the experience, but like it's like just so like nutrient dense. It's just easy. 
Nicotine makes you not hungry. Oh, it like mutes your hunger signals. Damn, yeah, because that's what it is for me too. It's not like I never had the appetite. I just got really used to suppressing and like ignoring my body being like, Ayo, bitch, we hungry. I would just, I would just be like, ah, I don't see anything. And then I would get used to like, not even noticing I'm hungry until I'm fucking starving after not eating for like seven hours. <laughs> that's how, that's how it gets you, you know? Cause like, you don't even realize that anything's wrong. You're like, I'm eating when I'm hungry. And it's like, yeah, but you are not hungry like nearly as often as you should be. <laughs> I could be a lot worse though. My my disorder is uh, it's called ARFID. It, it basically just means you like restrict what foods you eat, like because your body has like an aversive reaction to stuff that's like unfamiliar. Usually it's like stuff that's nutritionally different from what you would normally eat. So for me, I would never eat vegetables. So like vegetables would taste like really and like the texture would really bother me. Um. But some people is really bad. Like, I, I think my friend's girlfriend has it. And apparently she only likes to eat, like, goldfish crackers and cereal. And it's like, oh, God, bro. Like, that's, like, way too restrictive. Or, like, you'll see... It's the same disorder as when you see those, like, documentaries where it's like, this guy only eats french fries. Or, like, this guy is a carnivore and he can only eat meat. He's scared of vegetables or whatever, you know, like... Like, it, it's, it's that kind of, like, picky eater type disorder, right? So I am like, I thank my lucky stars every day that I didn't have it that bad. Even though like, you know, I ha I definitely had it. I like speed ran the therapy. I did it in like half the expected time. <laughs> spinach is superfood way better than lettuce. Yeah, yeah, for real. It's re Spinach is great. It's like very, very convenient way to just like add another layer to like any meal. Because it doesn't taste like much when it's raw, and it's not like it tastes bad when it's cooked either. Although to be honest, like most of the time, I'll kind of just like take a handful of raw spinach and just like throw it into the food as soon as I'm done cooking. Like if I make like pasta or something, I might like tear it up a bit, just toss it in there, and then like let it wilt a little bit from the heat. I don't like go out of my way to cook it all the time, but... Usually I'll get enough, like, residual heating through that it's fine. Okay, we got enough jungle spore. We just need to kill literally any one of these, like, five enemies down here and we'll be good. Stop shooting me, bro. Hey! Give me all that. Fuck you. Oh, I died. <laughs> no energy all day? For real, I used to not under- I didn't realize it. But, like, you gain a lot of energy when you eat better. Like, it's really cool. It, like, you never think about it, but, like, everything's just so, like, tied together. It's also, like, connected. Anyway, you know what else is about to connect? These ingredients to make a sword of grass. What? What am I missing? Wait, what? Huh? 12, 15, 3. Anvil. Oh, bitch! I thought I had 15. I only have 13. Fucker. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go back. No way I could live like that in a Mexican household. Can't be picky with the chicken head and feet floating in the stew. And pickled fried pig skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I grew up... See, I but part of it is it's a good thing that you grow up eating, like, a diversity of food. Because that's, like, unless you have, like, a traumatic experience, like, it's gonna set you up for success, right? Like, my parents didn't cook for me growing up. I grew up with a single dad, and, uh, and he didn't really cook, right? So he, as soon as I had a bad reaction to something, and I, you know, I wouldn't, like, eat, instead of, like, taking me to therapy for, or something while I was young, he would just make me, like, chicken and fries every day. So I grew up to be an adult that, like, can only eat, like, 20 food or something. Probably more than 20, but, like, the amount of those that are, like, a complete meal is, like, three right like when i started therapy they were like you have to eat two meals and three snacks a day and i'm not gonna lie to you picking a second meal that wasn't chicken and rice was legitimately hard for me at the start like i couldn't think of what else i was able to eat regularly <laughs> which is crazy in hindsight but like 
it's just because I it's like so conditioned after a long time, you know, right? Your kids will be however you you raise them, how you set them up, you know? Okay, that's 15. We're good now. Now we can make a blade of grass. Blade of ass. Agile. And now we just need the blood butcherer. I've never had one of these. Like, I've never crafted one. It's pretty boring, though. It doesn't really do anything. Okay. I was just curious if it had a cool little element to it. Can I craft this here? Or it's, uh, it's at a demon altar, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you know what? Let's bring all of my buffs down with me. I'll put the shadow key away somewhere. Uh, I'll put it in mob loot. It'll be fine. Oh, I have all the obsidian in my inventory for no reason, too. And then, gotta put away the stingers. Okay, so we have this, 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 and the volcano. Or I guess I'm gonna have to reforge it anyway, so we can, we can just come back for it. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go make the Knight's Edge! Woo! Base department? I'd like to report this streamer guy who likes to tomatoes. Oh no, bro. No, 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 no. Didn't you, didn't you see the Animal Crossing stream? Me and Tom are chilly. You can't get him, you can't get him on my ass like that. Nah, 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 nah. Me and Tom, we chilly. I'm, I'm about to go see my goat Tom tomorrow. We got an Animal Crossing stream tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I was surprised that, that, sh that when I made that into a short, it did well on, on YouTube short. Well, it did like average, I guess, but still. I kind of thought it was going to bomb, but uh, it did not. I was also surprised. I wasn't sure if the ram clip would do good from yesterday, but it did. Oh, I should have brought the buffs down. We just got demonic anyway. Dude, look at how big it swings. Ooh. Ooh. Wee. All right, let's go get, let's go get the buffs ready. And then, oh, that's not what I meant to sell. Uh, let's get all my buffs. And then oh, I have, yeah, I have, I have enough vile mushrooms. So we have to grind a little bit to get another spawner, but not much. We have most of what we need. We just need to farm a couple vertebrae and then we'll have it. And then right here we can make the vicious powder. Let's, oh wait. Queen Bee? We could do Queen Bee as well. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we should do Queen Bee. Uh, let me see. Let's grab this over that. That extra swing and speed. We should be chilling. I need a second opinion. Should I roll a giant? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know what take some dabs means. But I mean, you you can roll a J. You know, I think I think that's fine. I, me personally, I, I don't really be, be on that stuff, so I, I, I can't speak from experience, but I, I would roll up a J if it were me. You know, I used to get called a stoner so much back in high school. I've never, I've never, uh, tried weed, but I always... I would wear this like green hoodie back in high school all the time. It was like, and it was like a pot green too. Like it was like grass green kind of, but like deeper than that though. It, it was literally fucking weed green. And I would also uh, have super bagged eyes like every day because I was sleep deprived, spent a bunch of time on my computer. So like everybody thought that I smoked weed because I was tired all the time. I had a substitute teacher one time was taking attendance. And he just looked at me after and he was like, yo, stoner, go run the attendance for me. I'm like, what? I like d double to, I gave like a little double take to, to like see if he meant me. And I was like, okay. I just, I took it. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that story, man. <laughs> Dev is the extract. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. That sounds strong. Probably just the J. Keep it chill. Weed is mmm. What kind of mmm though? Like mmm or like a mmm? Like you know, like mmm could mean like a a lot of different things. 
pulling all nighters make one look perma fried. I I never I never even like uh, I wasn't really doing all nighters. I would I would sleep like five or six hours, but like I'm the type of person where I need my beauty sleep. Like if I don't get at least seven, I'm gonna be bagged. But really, I I really prefer to get like nine, nine and a half when I can. Because otherwise, a lot of the time, like, if if I wake up in the right part of my sleep cycle and I get, like, nine, nine and a half, or, like, sorry, less than nine, then I'm fine. But if I don't, then I'm, like, really groggy for the first couple hours of the morning. Helps me eat. I'm too skinny. Helps you. I guess people, like, people do be snacking, like, hella when they're on, when they're high, right? Does it, like, increase your appetite? This is interesting. Yes, teach teach me more about weed. It's legal here, so I feel like I can talk about this. Because I have nothing against weed. It's not like I, I haven't, like, tried it. It's just, like, I don't really drink either. Like, I just, I just, uh, not, not much of a substance type of guy, you know. I just, I just like to, to chill. My, I feel like my brain is, like, hyperactive always, but I'm, like, used to it, so... <laughs> But it would it would probably be interesting to see if everything just shut up if I if I if I just hit the hit the big W if you get if you catch my drift big M not complete yeah I think it is healthier than drinking for the most part like obviously both are bad for you in excess and both are fine in moderation I think weed can even have like some good aspects in moderation depending on what you're going through right because like people use it medicinally and shit. I have an aunt who's like, who use weed like medicinally because uh, cause she gets, I don't know if it's like really bad headaches or like body aches or something. I don't remember which, but you know, pot, pot can be helpful for stuff like that. Helps you sleep, medicates pain, helps the urge to eat. That's cool. I used to, uh, I used to take this uh, one... I, I get, technically it's a drug, but it's not really like a drug drug like that called a uh, valerian It's just kind of like a natural like herbal thing. That's good for Treating anxiety, but I used to use it to help me sleep because a therapist told me to try it once I still it's probably expired by now. I still have it though <laughs> But I mean though those really don't do much. They just make you a little sleepy All right one more vertebrae who gon' give me their vertebra? Who gon' give me their vertebra? Cause I'm about to hurt a bruh. When I fucking swerve on a bruh. Drop a turd on a bruh. Fly like a bird on a bruh. <laughs> oh, when I, when I said the drop a turd, I should've made an Amber Heard line. That would've been fire. <laughs> okay, bloody spine. We got the spawner. To be- okay, I have the Jester's arrows, but Knight's Edge might actually even be better for phase one. Anyway, let's go, Brain of Cthulhu. Bang! Hello. What's up, G? Ooh, just straight on top of me, huh? Real fair. Uh, twice! Wow! Wow, real cool, bro. Aw, oh, that's sick. Alright, let's see how much the Knight's Edge helps with this part. Yo, can we like die? Alright, let's go. Ooh! Ooh, I'm getting comboed! Dude, the imp makes it so much easier because it just shows me where. But then, yeah, the Knight's Edge made that a lot easier. I was right. Easy, baby. Give me that brain of confusion. Give me that dodge. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's too easy, baby. That's another boss down. Man, we really went from 
getting absolutely stomped at the start of this stream to just kick in major ass. <laughs> Feels good. How are you swinging so fast? Because I got Feral Claws too. So this thing just swing. And uh, the well-fed buff increases the like attack speed too. It increases like everything. Oh, I didn't even have my extra imp. I could have had two. <laughs> feral Claws? Yeah, Feral Claws gives you 12% uh, increased melee speed. And it makes every melee weapon auto swing, which is cool. How do you spell that? Valerian? Uh, I think V-A-L-E-R-I-A-N. I can type it in chat. Here, I got you. Valerian. There you go. Also, what's up, Topher? I actually didn't even re- wait. Was I just confusing somebody's name the whole time? Oh, no, you're the backflip guy. Why did I think you were new when I looked over? <laughs> maybe I'm the one who's high after all, guys. Maybe I'm the- maybe I'm just lying to you. I'm gaslighting all of you. You can hear it in my voice. This is the voice of a man that does the big marijuana, obviously. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do the Crimson Rod in that run, too. Not that it does that much extra damage, but... Okay, uh, you know what I want to do is I want to make a little holder thingy for our very cool and amazing, um, our very cool and epic trophies. So let's grab, I need a hammer which I can't make out of Crimson. I don't know why I grabbed that. I guess we'll do Hellstone. Normally I would do the Meteor one, but I still, I haven't gotten a fucking Meteor in this world, which is really weird. Oh, Nimble, extra speed, thank you. Uh, you can have my Sawtooth Shark in that case. I don't need him anymore. I got a Ham Axe now, big Ham. Oh, wow, that is hilarious timing. I literally just mentioned that I still haven't gotten a Meteor and it fucking landed. <laughs> <laughs> wow dude that's a crazy coincidence okay uh let's build it like in between the uh rail go like eight out on both sides i did this like one one rail away from the top i think so yeah yeah, yeah, you can see. I don't know if you used to be able to do that, but it's been, they added it so that you could see it like that a while ago. One, two, three. Bro, I can't stand still. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I knew I placed this too high. Did I place it two blocks too high or one? I think one. Oh, uh, no, I think. Oh, it's just because this side is actually taller. I see. I think it actually might still be two blocks too high after looking. That looks about level to me. Okay. That's... Bro, I can't I can't get my, my dude to stand still. Okay, here we go. We'll do like a little kind of bowl shape. I'm not gonna have enough blocks. This is gonna be like half wood until I go get more marble. It's gonna look so fucking ugly. Let's make it out of dirt. Fuck it. Just just all in on the on the fact that it's going to be scuffed. Don't matter. What is that emoji, bro? Why does he look like Carl Weezer? What face is he making? I can't even see. Oh, it's like a joy face. <laughs> it's the cry laughing emoji. <laughs> Bro, we need to hurry up and get monetized, man. The YouTube emojis are not it. <laughs> Real men build twice, break once. Yes. You can toggle on the ruler check. Oh, that's true. I could do the ruler. 1.4 meteor spawns only after. Oh, it's only after you kill. I see. I thought it was just after you break the shadow orb, but I guess they changed that. Cool. Good to know. Okay, all of my relics. Wait, where's where's the brain relic? Oh, I put it over here. I was like, bro, don't tell me I sold it. So we did the eye, then we did King Slime, then we did Skeletron. Dude, weird sequencing in this playthrough. Then the brain. But to be fair, the brain was honestly harder than Skeletron without the Knight's Edge. That shit was really hard. <laughs> like... <laughs> 
It was not gonna lie. It was fucking very hard. Okay. Uh, what do I need? I need marble, and I still need an aglet, cause I want lightning boots. So uh, let's take a little splunk. I think I have splunker potion. I think I have one. Oh, I have two. Easy. I got two whole splunkies. Wow. And then roasted bird. Oh, I still have my other buffs, but that's fine. Uh, let's, let's do some, wait, I have a mining potion too, right? Mining potion is really useful for this. Wear mining potion. Gib. There. Okay. Meteor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it was pre-1.4. I see, I see. All right, we're gonna go drink this, drink this, and it's excavation time. We're just gonna dig along the side here and try to find surface chests. Because I've already, like, ran over the overworld, and I couldn't find an aglet when I did that. So we gotta look a little deeper. Oh, and I guess I already checked. Like, on the right, I found a chest, like, down on this layer already. So maybe I should be going left, but... We got, like, ten minutes worth of potion to do this, so... It's fine. Actually, wait. Let me, let me do you guys a favor. Make it so you don't have to hear <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> it's the same as when I did the railroad. I remember I turned off the sound effect for that too. Throwback. What what face is that? Why did he got a blindfold with a question mark in the middle? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Why is there a question mark in the middle? Bro's got that item block type drip. Ain't no way. <laughs> the item block drip goes crazy. <laughs> All I had to do is make the thing yellow. I guess the item blocks are blue in Mario Kart. It sounds so like tranquil in the game when there's no like mining noise or like sound effect going on. <laughs> or like, cause there's no walking noise either. That's why it sounds so quiet. Cause I was like, you're not like mining or like swinging like all the time. But there's no running noise. That's why it sounds so quiet. Where are the chests at, bro? Chat, we we want to see some chest, right? You guys like seeing big chest, small chest, any chest, to be honest. Am I right, fellas, or am I right? <laughs> nah, we got we got no chest here. You know what's funny? I actually... I think I mentioned this earlier on stream. I checked my analytics earlier and I saw I had like 18% female viewership almost. And I was like, oh damn, that's like pretty high, you know? Like for streams, that's really good. And then I noticed it was on the all tab. And like, for reference, I have like... 30 times more views on shorts than I do on streams, or something like that. So I was like, oh, let me click the live button. It was literally 100% male viewership on the live streams. There is not a singular, no, no bitches to the maximum degree. <laughs> literally 100% male. The 18%. That's true. Wait, maybe your account, is your account still like, like male stat from before? Or is it, um... Or not. Maybe it's just slow to update too. Like it might just be um it might just not like update fast enough. Oh it's, yeah, okay, I get I guess we got the we got the one percent my one female viewer. Let's go, Ember. Based queen. We love a based queen in the in the twi chat. Or just anywhere to be honest. I can kinda see it though, because you know what? My model has zero sex appeal. <laughs> I feel like it is very trendy nowadays for guy VTubers to be like very mature and sexy looking and all of that. And I will probably grow like a more rounded view, like audience over time. But as it stands, like cute little fella, everybody knows that only the bros are interested in cute guys. Am I right or am I not? <laughs> but, um... 
I've been really surprised at like how much support I've gotten in like a very short amount of time though. Like I thought it would I thought it would take me a while to uh to kind of really like be getting new people on like new eyes on my stuff, but Yeah, no, like, I I 100% agree. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty popular with the ladies myself. <laughs> nah, I'm actually not. I'm popular getting becoming friends with the ladies. Which is actually perfect for me because uh, you know, I'm ace, so I don't I don't give a singular shit. But um <laughs> I remember back in my old job, my coworkers would always call me a baby because I was the youngest one there and they would always just tease me. And like low key it was really fun, but obviously I would I would be I w I would be all like all like playful about it. It was kind of embarrassing. Like, I still get a little bit flustered sometimes when I talk to them. Because, <laughs> you know, literally every time I go back and visit my old co-workers, like, if I stop by while they're on a shift or something, they're going to be like, Oh my god, our baby's all grown up. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. I was literally an adult when I started working. <laughs> you know, like, they're all, they're all like, more, further along in their 20s, so. <laughs> they're, just being, they're just being silly. I love my girls, though. Love the girlies. And it's like fun. It's like, it's like fun to like indulge in like femme stuff. And I like that when I'm with the girlies, you know, I can, I can talk about like makeup or getting my nails painted or, you know, like I like female fashion. Like, you know, I like wearing skirts and shit. I got some new skirts that are going to come. It's probably going to take like two months because I ordered it from fucking China, but... <laughs> It's gonna be big, sweet. I'ma get those juicy plaid mini skirts. What I've been waiting for, what I've been missing out on. I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's like the fit that I've been wanting to craft for so long, but I just, they don't even sell those kind of skirts here. I got like five of them or something that I ordered. Five or six or something, I don't even remember. Among some other stuff. It's gonna be so gas. Gonna have like IRL fashion dreamer just fucking styling outfits for myself. It's gonna be so great. <laughs> we definitely gotta bring back fashion dreamer next week. But I feel like I'm trying to I'm trying to like give all the games their like little moment, you know. I gotta I gotta pick Pokemon back up too, but oh, I gotta play through the intro of Pokemon again though, because I fucking wiped on the Nuzlocke run. And you know, I'm not gonna make Oh wait, gnome. Gnome! You've been known. <laughs> oh wait, no, don't kill him. Wait, don't burn. Don't burn to death. Oh, there's another one. Wait, come on, turn into a block. How do you make them like turn into a block? I know they do it. I, I know they do it. I know, I know it turns into a block and then you can mine him and then he gives you good luck. But how do I get him to do that? Chat, does anybody know how to like make the gnome like stop being alive, but like not by killing him? Bring them to the surface. Oh, okay, okay. Come here. Come here, little fella. We're going on a journey. Pull up. Ah, thank you, my guy. My boy four with all the knowledge. Actually, big helpful. Thank you. Is the other one still here or he burned to death? I guess he died. Rip. 07 for the OG gnome. He fucking died. Rip, big rip. Uh, any chests? Not that I'm seeing. I think, I think we're, I think we're getting a bit of a wash here for, for the, for the chest hunt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't realize my double jump was gone. Going for a little lava bat. Wait, why is my jump so short? What happened? That was weird. I don't know why it was just randomly like super heavy. Now I need to like proper pimp out an arena as a bass statue. Maybe I'll try mining on the crimson desert side because I did go through like a lot of desert cave on this side, but I couldn't find one with a bass. I couldn't find a house with a bass statue. 
Okay. Uh, um, maybe by Le Ocean? Maybe by Big Ocean? Chat, you know how- wouldn't it be fire if we, like, skipped to Duke Fishron as soon as we go hard mode? You think I could do it? I don't. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm saying this. I can't- I can't- I don't even think I can pull that off on regular master mode. There's no fucking shot I could do it on for the worthy. <laughs> oh, dude, wait. There's gonna be an extra Fishron attack? That's gonna be so fucked up to fight against. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fucked. Dude, what else could they even do to make him harder? Like, he's already pretty fucking hard. It was during the night, so you had to wait until morning? Wait, why do you have to wait until morning? Was it like, do they- does it not work at night, or were you just worried that, like, mobs were gonna kill it if you took him up there? Ow. I don't have my royal gel on, so you're gonna have to, like, leave me alone, slime. Oh, chest! A fucking radar, bro. Bitch. Raid Shadow Legends D's Nuts Your Mom. Fuck you. I couldn't think of a good raid joke. Another blowpipe? It is annoying. Good, well spotted game. Very well spotted. Just what I fucking wanted. Another blowpipe. Blow my fucking pipe. Bitch. That's probably going on YouTube Shorts later. Say hi to YouTube Shorts chat. Say hi to TikTok. <laughs> I don't actually know if I'll post that, but it just seems short enough that it could actually be a clip. Come on. Still got three whole seconds. Not too late to show me another chest. It is, though. It is too late. Whatever. Whatever, bro. It's not like I even wanted a chest or something like that anyway. Like, obviously. Ooh, traveling merchant. What you got? What you got, G? Life Force Analyzer? Give me that. Stopwatch? Sure. Okay, what do you actually- which one is the one that you combine with the Life Force Analyzer? It is the radar and the tally count. Oh, there is no way that you think I'm actually farming a tally counter. <laughs> Ain't no shot, bro. Right on into the fucking chest it goes. So, 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 so. Gnomes turn into the statues only in daylight. Ah, okay. I didn't know. Cool. Okay, let's go, um, can I make more, uh, Splunker? It's like Moon Glow, Blink Root, and Gold Ore, right? Or Platinum Ore in this case. Yeah, I got plenty of all of those. Oh, we're chilling on that. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, let's go check out, let's see if we can find a desert cave down here. Maybe get a Bast statue. I don't think I really need it for hard mode, or sorry, for pre-hard mode, but hard mode... I think I'm gonna need everything I can get for the hard mode bosses, yo. Like, it's gonna be hard, bro. Like, ooh. It's been hard enough doing pre-hard mode. I feel like some of the scaling in hard mode is gonna be fucked, dude. I'm totally cheesing Destroyer with Daedalus Stormbow. Can you imagine if for some reason Daedalus, like, doesn't work properly in this seed? It's gonna be so- I would be so fucked, man. I hope- Ah! I don't expect Sandstorm. Oh, wait, Sandstorm is mad annoying because there's more of the worms, right? Hmm. I don't know if it affects underground. Uh, I guess I'll find out. Sucks to suck up there. Fucking tumbleweed rolling around. Round ass bitch. There's a lot of them over there. Very tempted to just like jump back up there and kill him. Can I kill him through the thing? No, I'd have to like... I, I don't even think you can hit through one block with the Knight's Edge. I think that's only for like bows and stuff. Or you can like aim it through a block. Alright, let me see... Some 
big old desert chest. Oh, this is... This is a literally ice cave. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts on Jelly Belly? Uh... Oh, that's the company that did Bean Boozle, right? Um... I think... Oh wait, is that the company that did Bean Boozle or is that a different one? I'm stupid, bro. I, I can't I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, um I think uh I think it's good. You get the there's like I've tried like the regular like 20 pack and like there's like a kids one as well, which might be better cuz there's a couple kind of mid flavors. The chocolate pudding one is kind of ass. I'm not going to lie. I think that flavor just doesn't really work. Most of the fruit ones are all good. Fuck, there was a boulder. Also, I should put my sound back on. <laughs> yeah. Not the boulder, bro. Come on, man. If I remember correctly, Star Cannon and its upgrade are the only weapons nerfed in For the Win. Worthy. Okay, good, 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 good. That makes sense because Star Cannon, while being the biggest pain in, like, just the most colossal pain in the ass of all time to grind up, is really, really broken for how early you can get it. Like, can't you literally beat the game with, like, just Star Cannon on Master Mode? I'm pretty sure you can. All the pink ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pink got lots of good flavors, for sure. Okay, let's try digging down, like, over here in the crimson part, maybe? Because this is literally still Ice Cave. I'll make one more potion. I like to carry two Splunkies on me. I still have to go back and get the, like, potion table thing from the dungeon at some point as well. I might do some of this stuff off camera. I don't know. To be fair, I feel like we don't have that much pre-hard mode left. Like, we can probably tie up loose ends, beat the Queen Bee, and beat the Wall of Flesh in one stream. Although, maybe I'll Hellbridge off stream. I don't know. Do you guys... Would you guys feel sad if you missed out on the absolutely riveting section of me building the Hellbridge? Hahaha. <laughs> I don't know, that's like pretty good content, you know, like holding the right button and placing block. Ooh, pretty entertaining. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's still sandstorming? All right, there we go. Can't touch this. Ooh, copper ore. Oh no, man. Pretty tempting grab. Dirt. Oh, is there no sand cave under here either, bro? Come on. Come on, dog. For real? Better at least show me like a chest with a with an aglet in it. I will forgive you if you do that. We can, uh, actually, we can, we can try tunneling left here. See if there's any chests. Come on, you know you won't allow me the aglet. I've, I've spent a good amount of time looking, you know. It would be more than fair to allow me a young aglet. Agile lit, small agile. I really do wonder what the etymology is for the word aglet. Like, it's so random. I have no fucking idea what ag- Like, obviously the let part is because it's small, I think. Maybe back in the day, laces were called ags, bro. <laughs> Yo, hold up, I gotta tie my ags real quick. <laughs> that sounds way too stupid to be real, there's no way. I'm sure there's probably like some Latin word or something. Mole cart from zoologist to build Hellbridge. It automatically digs in underground and places rails. That's kind of sick. I feel like I'm infinitely too lazy to grind the zoologist, but it's kind of cool though. I didn't know that exists. There's like so many things in this game that I don't even know exists. 
Like, I feel like Terraria is like one of those games where you literally cannot play it without the wiki. <laughs> There's just too much shit that you just have to look up. But I love that about this game. Like, you can never... It, it, you have to play a stupid amount to truly know everything. Like, I've played for a thousand hours and there's still like shit that I just have no idea how it works. Okay, so this is all just like regular Crimson Cave. <sighs> Boring. Come on, man. Pull up. Yeah, that's right. Fucking worm. Aglet is from the Latin word Acus, which means needle. Oh. Shoe needles. That's kind of funny. That's a funny image. <laughs> Fucking shoe needles. <laughs> I, I can see it. I can I can see I can see the vision. How they got that. Although it is a little goofy, admittedly. There's a lot of sand down here. Is it gonna like turn into desert cave? That would be pretty based. I don't think it will though. It doesn't look like it. Oh, crimson heart. Is there even anything I could get that I don't have yet? I think I already got every drop. Even if I didn't, I have the light pet. That's the only one that matters. me. My bad. Hello, Pixie. I wonder where you're gonna take me. I'm gonna mine the life crystal. It was probably that. Why so many darts trap? You bitch. Okay, I was just shining the life crystal. We made it back down to the other side of the dungeon. Although I don't have any gold keys right now, so there's not actually much point for me to go in there. It would be kind of cool if we got, um, Frost Spark boots. Not really like it's an upgrade particularly, but if we could get Terra Spark boots later, that would be an upgrade. <sighs> Farming Lava Charm would take way too long though, so I don't really care about it. Yeah, there's like nothing over here, man. A lot of garbage cave in this world. 326 damage is wild. Wait, what hit me for 326? Or did I hit something else for 326? I could probably see that because I have molten armor too. I'd have about 1500 hours, but I st still learn new stuff every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Terraria is a very expansive game. There's just a lot of stuff in the game, you know? I already go through all this area down here. <gasps> chest! Chest! Gib. Gib aglets. Come here. I just want my lightning boots, man. I just want to ka-chow through the streets. Oh shit, the meteor is near here. Oh, there's two of them. Wait, did I already loot these? Why do I feel like I already looted these? I swear to god, I 100% looted these. Yep. Fuck me, man. Ah, oh, there's the meteor. Hello. Uh, I will deal with you later, dog. I'm gonna I'm go over here. Dude, Knight's Edge is so good for the meteors. Oh my god. I don't normally play melee stuff, so I, I, ne I never really, like, get the Knight's Edge in my regular playthroughs. But this thing is kind of fucking cracked. Like... The swing radius is so round and big. And big and round. Any chests on the right down here? Maybe? I don't think so. Let's start. Let's, let's dig vertically. How about that? Maybe just it's like on the down though, shouldn't it? I can 
steal it. Remember, remember, chat. Most gamblers quit before they hit it big. Our aglet is right around the corner. The corner of a circle, maybe. I can't find this shit anywhere. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm gonna go through all of this effort. I'm gonna fish off stream to get potions, and I'm gonna open a crate and get an aglet. That is probably the exact timeline that we are living in. <laughs> Actually, to be- oh, okay. Wait, I've definitely looted that one too, though. Like, just look at where that is. There's no way I haven't grabbed that. What about down? This, like, area on the- on the right with the vines looks like it could totally have a chest. Being said, uh, I'm- I'm not seeing one. Are you sure you don't want to stick a chest over there, game? You sure? 100% sure? Man. It's gonna be nice playing some chill games for the next little bit. I, I like the spacing of this week's games. Like, I'm really excited to play Refined Self. I actually kind of forgot I bought that game for stream. Because I bought up stuff like last summer sale, I think. So it's been a, it's been a minute since I uh, since I purchased up those games. But um, it's a really cool game. It's like uh, I, I think it's like basically like a short RPG, like only a couple hours long, uh, where all of your decisions will basically like in the game will affect. It'll give you like a personality type as like an ending to the story, kind of, which is really sick as a game concept. Like as somebody who like kind of already fucks with like personality tests and shit like that. I think that's so cool. You know what I don't think is so cool? This fucking spear that I just put- No, I <laughs> My bad, my fault, my fault, my fault. <laughs> One billionth spear. But I think that game's gonna be really cool. I'm actually really excited to check it out. Cause like, I saw like 10 minutes of it and I was like, oh, this shit is cool. I gotta like click off so that I can keep myself spoiler free and play it. <laughs> But I might even like play through it more than once just to see like the different endings. I don't know if I'll actually do that. Especially depending how long it takes for like one playthrough, but I just love that concept. Because I always like interesting personality tests. I've looked at everything, you know, I've looked at MBTI, I've looked at like astrology, I've looked at Enneagram, I've looked at uh I feel like there's another big big five. You know, like, back in the day, I, I did all of them. I'd done the quirky little shits on Twitter as well, you know? Just people being like, oh, what, you know, like, what, what anime character are you? And it'll just be, like, the most stupid questions of all time. But, I mean, those are also funny. But I feel like doing it through the medium of, like, a game where, like, your decisions impact is so cool. Because, like, most of the time, like... It's still, like, there are games that do work like that, where, like, your decision-making matters. But it's, it's very, like, direct, right? I like that it kind of, I think it doesn't actually, like, affect the gameplay as directly as it affects the result. So, like, you'll play through, and it might not be as evident to you, like, what your choices mean. Until you're in that, like, end game, and you're like, oh, shit, I got, like, this, or whatever, you know? I that's dope. 1.4.4? It came a lot more interesting to play melee. Huge rework for a lot of melee weapons, especially Zenith components. Yeah, that's true. Like, the Knight's Edge is a lot better. True Knight's Edge is a lot better. Um... Did the Excalibur get reworked? I'm not sure. I feel like it might have. I don't actually know a lot of them other than... Oh, I guess the Blade of Grass, I think, got reworked, right? And the Volcano. Because it used to be like a fiery something. And it was just like not as good as the volcano is. The volcano is really good. To be honest. Yeah, that sword fucks. But I feel like the Knight's Edge is like, and the true Knight's Edge are like the most felt upgrades to me. Or especially like the regular Knight's Edge. 
Because it feels so much stronger than it used to, from what I remember. I always felt like melee was simultaneously like the best and worst class in a lot of ways. Probably not the best, actually. I always thought Ranger was the best class, and I, it probably still is, but melee is definitely much more of a contender. Because I feel like there's a lot more range to your attacks now than there used to be, which makes it a lot more viable. But, like, late game, the melee armors are so broken. Like, turtle and, like, beetle armor are so fucking strong. And even if you're not playing melee, like, sometimes... You can even justify, like, making the melee helmet just for the extra defense. Like, giving up your, like, potential, like, part of a set. Usually not the set bonus ones, but... Taking extra defense over extra, like, damage, I suppose. Might be worth it in this playthrough, because, like, fuck, bro, everything does so much. But at the same time, everything takes so many hits to kill, so maybe not. Alright, regular slime? Yes, Mother Slime. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Starts mewing. What? Uh... <laughs> why did I say that? That was so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's just the one fucking TikTok song where it's like, bye-bye, and then it fucking mew. I don't even remember what the fucking song sounds like. I just remember that one line. Where do I make... Marbles. There we are. Smooth marble brick. Here we go. Let's fix this up so it's not all dirt. That's what I wanted to do. Before I forget. Because y'all know my ADHD way too strong. If I leave this for next playthrough, I will not remember until I see- I mean, to be fair, actually, I would probably see it pretty quickly. Because I'd probably take the railroad. And then I would be in my vision. But I'm very forgetful. I feel like this would look cool if we had like a some walls on the background too. We got an extra hundred of these. I feel like gray brick wall would look really cool though. Wait, let me let me make some gray brick because I have a lot of stone, like an unnecessarily large quantity of stones. And let's make gray brick walls. Okay, I might have made more than I need. I don't know if we need 920. <laughs> might be slightly excessive, some may say. But I want to have it, like, scale up a bit, like this, kind of. Because I think this... I don't know if this platform is going to be big enough. Like, we might have to add, like, a wooden platform above it to stick more trophies later. This is pretty long, though. It might fit all of the trophies. Is this... Oh, actually, this probably will fit all of them, but I still think it looks cool to have it, like, stick upwards a little bit. Oh, maybe we could make it, like, staircase, kind of? Hold on. Three. Three. Mmm, that's kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. Let's roll with that. Look at me out here chefing it up with the blocks, cooking up a exquisite build. Oh, I made it too short. Oops. I made it stick out. No. There we go. I think that looks cool. Roll with it. We'll roll with it. Okay, uh, that is probably a good a good place to call it. I feel like I think I think I'm satisfied with our progress today. I'm gonna just slide back over to my chatting screen real quick. Hello. Uh, probably fit all. Yeah, I, I think I think it'll fit them all actually in hindsight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, here is my schedule for the rest of the week. If you want to pull up to any of the other streams, we got Animal Crossing on Thursday. Uh, Refined Self on Friday, gonna be sick. And uh, Saturday, back with the Elden Ring, of course, you know. Gotta, gotta get that Elden Ring progress. I still need to get a spell. I'm gonna, like, literally look up, like, a YouTube tutorial 
for like good spells <laughs> and then just like pick one that I'm gonna go get because I legit can't find anything. I'm actually such a fucking idiot when it comes to Elden Ring. But um, but I'm having fun with it though. So uh, may maybe Godric, maybe Godric on uh on Saturday. Who knows? Uh, and then Sunday will be a little day off for me. But yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate you all. Uh, and have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Bye bye. Thank you.